Hello, my loves. It's G here with Golden Thread Tarot. I'm here to bring you another pick a card message today. I want to take a little break in the collective reading because I feel like a lot of our collectives have been pulling the same exact energy. So I want to take a little break, do something a little more fun, do something, you know, my spirit guides always come through with the something, you know, but we're just going to mix it up a little bit. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy the 18 plus messages that I did. So I feel like I would kind of continue that um, and keep it a little fun and keep it a little light. Okay. And what we're going to get into is what type of love slash lover are you manifesting? Okay. So this is on your current energy right now. Always be aware that if you don't like what, what comes out in this, okay, one, maybe pick another group but however i really want you guys to really meditate really think on it take that time to really pick the one that's really calling to you not just based on the crystal but based on the energy that you feel because we are going to be doing from pick crystals okay so we're going to do this and if you guys get drawn to something always know that this is just the current energy you will always have the capability to change your energy to change it up to change your mindset to work on things if you don't like what comes out okay always be aware of that right so these are going to be pretty lengthy readings okay because i have some stacks here spirit really wanted to really dive in deep to this okay so let's go ahead and get into the pick a card portion of this okay or the pick a crystal excuse me and then we'll go ahead and get into your piles okay so for pile number one you guys are going to be picking the rose quartz tower okay for pile two it's going to be the amethyst tower and for pile three it is going to be the green calcite tower all right as always lovely this is going to be time stamped down below all right i have a lot okay a lot of uh, pre-shuffled oracle cards and then we'll also get into it's a pre-shuffled tarot cards too and then we're also going to be picking choosing some 18 plus and I kind of get into you guys like intimate life as well as well as some details on what this person might look like or what their sign might be okay so I will see you lovelies in your piles let's get into it I'm so excited for this hello pile one how are you lovelies doing okay you guys picked the Rose Quartz Tower, all right? And right when I tapped into you guys' energy, I heard, whoa, watch out. So I really feel like this person is going to come, like, barely in really hot and heavy into your life, okay? That doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, but I definitely feel like this person coming in, like, super quickly into your life, like, kind of out of nowhere and kind of doing, like, that sweep you off your feet kind of energy, okay? So let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffled tarot cards okay and then look at this look at this huge stack of oracle cards so much that we have to get into okay so let's do it i'm gonna set these out and i'm gonna get into the energy okay oh okay wow wow okay so heavy cancer energy here you guys got the chariot twice so like i said unstoppable forward movement this person's coming barreling into your life just boom and they're just gonna be there really suddenly right um i really feel like okay i'm just gonna be honest for some of you i am getting that you could meet this person in church or some kind of spiritual or religious um kind of religious setting or spiritual setting so you could meet this person at church or mosque or you know whatever it is that you practice okay also getting really big that this person could have a really prominent like Taurus energy in their chart heavy Taurus heavy cancer okay um I really feel like this person is going to be very committed uh really right away they're really going to want to have a heavy commitment to uh, with you okay um, I really feel like this person could have a good amount of money you could also meet this person through friends or family it could be like a like somebody that you have known for a while okay that you have known for a while maybe a family a close family friend or something like that this person's gonna come in really quickly and with these repeating energies here right we also have two four of swords as well coming into your reading here all right two chariot cards two four of swords 
Now, I'm also hearing us. I gotta say this for some of you, okay? This could be an ex. This could be somebody from your past, okay? Trying to show back up in your life, or it could be somebody that you haven't seen in a while, all right? Um, it's somebody that really doesn't want to let things rest the way that they ended between the two of you. Um, even if it was just, oh, we went to different colleges, or oh, we, you know, you moved away, and so it didn't really happen, or maybe even somebody that you could have met like online somewhere, or somebody that you met out somewhere, and then you're gonna run into this person again, and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, like hey like um you know like sparks could fly things could um you could meet this person on vacation or you could meet this person while you are doing something like some kind of like rest energy here but like i said it's something that in the past i feel like you put to rest it could have been a, even a person at one point for some of you i'm just gonna say for some of you it could be a person that you could have been in a really serious long-term relationship i mean like you could have been married to this person well, this person could be kind of coming back around kind of energy that doesn't have that's not going to apply to all of you but i definitely feel that energy um you could also meet this person while you're traveling or while you're away from home you could run into this person okay um now there is definitely a sense here with this five of swords this person um, that this person lost out before this person is like seeing this as a second opportunity you're coming back around into their life and they're like oh I definitely want to take advantage of this person coming back to the a second chance kind of opportunity coming back into my life if this person is going to come barreling back into my life I am going to take advantage of this opportunity okay yeah yeah, and I feel like you could feel kind of like, oh, I don't know if I, yeah, but there is this feeling of one of you, like in the past is put back to rest, but there's something about it coming back up again here for you, okay? And like I said, because this person is so familiar, you might feel uh, maybe you have dated this person before. Maybe you've had some kind of intimate relationship with this person before. So it feels like things become, you know, like you're, it's not like you're going through the regular dating stage with this person where you're getting to know them going on dates before you like know each other's parents or know each other's family, or you feel comfortable letting them come over to your house. Like you're instantly like, oh, wow, I know you. So you, it, it feels really quickly like, you could even go home with this person on the first night, okay? I'm just going to be honest. You know, you could go home with this person on the first night. Um, you could really quickly start dating this person and really um, feel like... Yeah, I'm going to be honest. For some of you, this is kind of... Good. I, I'm hearing like soul tie. You could have a soul tie with this person or you could have a karmic lesson that this person could be coming back into your life to teach you to learn. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a terrible person or they're a bad person, but it does feel like... For some of you, it's not somebody that you're in a relationship with, but it's somebody that you are familiar with. Um, You've known this person, but it feels like a distance away, like years. It could have been years since you ran into this person or years since you talked to that person. You're like, oh, hey, how are you? And when you guys meet up... Um, it's like sparks fly again, right? It's kind of like old flame energy coming back up. So it's something that you thought that you, or somebody maybe that you even took a separation or you took a rest from. Um, you could even identify this person as somebody that you were in some kind of soulmate journey where separation was necessary. I'm not really getting heavy like twin flame vibes or anything off this necessarily yet. However, um, I am getting the sense of this person definitely feels like if they're getting the second chance, the second go around with you, they they don't wanna they don't wanna miss this chance, okay? They don't wanna miss this chance to to lock you down. Like so if they so if something messed up between the two of you in the past, they definitely don't want to walk down that same road um again, but they definitely don't want to do whatever caused the separation to happen again, right? they're like I you know I don't want to back off I you know I don't want this to end very clearly like I am ready to commit and be heavy on the commitment to this okay um this person could even want to really quickly like buy a house or like move in together um it's kind of what I'm getting with this ten of pentacles they even could uh, come in really hot and heavy spending a lot of money or willing to invest they could um maybe they come in and they're just like oh I'll pay for your drinks and I'll pay for your drinks all night and I'll pay for this date and I'll pay for that um they're also giving me somebody who might sling their money around pretty quickly i am hearing really heavy tourist vibes off of this I'm not gonna lie also i feel like the ten of pentacles could be virgo energy so this person could have some um less with that but i'm feeling more cancer and taurus vibes here this person doesn't have to be that but i'm feeling that big energy here with this person okay Let's get more into it. Which ones do you want to do? No, no, yes. You want to do the monology. So let's get into the monology cards here. We're going to try to keep going on a pretty reasonable path. 
you're very close to achieving your goals. So whatever goals that you've been like setting out before yourself, okay, you're really close to achieving those. You're really close to coming into alignment with that, okay? Be bold and make the first move, okay? You could see this person and kind of be like, oh, like, you know what? Or this person could feel like, when they run into you or when they see like this opening to come towards you, they're very quickly going to come towards you and be like, ah, like, hello, like I'm going to make this like if this person was hesitant in the past, they're no longer hesitant in the more. If they kind of blew you off or they ghosted you in the past, they are not going to act like that, at least not when they see you. They're going to come in and really be bold and make this. Adjustments are required. So I feel like this break was needed between the two of you. Adjustments needed to happen or maybe two of you needed to go on separate karmic paths. There were lessons, other people you needed to date, other things you needed to learn, right? Other things you needed to know, which is why I feel like the two of you, you know, separated your path from each other okay let's see this council of light divine orchestration help us in the subtle realm so definitely your spirit teams or this person's spirit teams are um lining this up for you to come back into alignment with this person or for this person to come back into your life this is definitely divine orchestration is pulling this back together star seed what lights you up so um you and this person could be uh, members of the same star family the same star group uh you could meet this person like i said um out on vacation possibly near the ocean or at a high, at, at a um somewhere with a high altitude or a high advantage like someplace where you can like look over like look over the city or look over something like that um it's gonna have a beautiful vista here okay it could it's also giving me a very otherworldly like how in the world did we meet up how in the world did this happen did this just happen to happen so it's giving me this very like otherworldly like oh something must be especially with that divine orchestration like something really must be happening here um inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart yeah so trust your intuition trust your heart on this situation okay um not all of you are going to feel the same about this person coming back into your life some of you are going to be open maybe some of you are kind of a little more like mm, i'm not sure but this is the person through your actions and through what you're doing that you're manifesting into your life right so be aware of that i also feel like you could also meet this person when you're doing some kind of like, like yeah you're doing some kind of inner journey spiritual journey physical journey um getting in tune with your own self um getting grounded getting out there you could meet this person out like out in nature or something like that um yeah This could also feel like it's some kind of cyclical cycle with this person. What I'm getting with these columns right here, I was getting like meeting, like you could have met this person at a young age and the two of you separated. And then you met again, like randomly at some point. And then you met randomly again at some point. And now here you guys are meeting again. And you're like, why do we keep running into each other? What is this? There has to be something here. There has to be something that keeps pulling us back together, right? Okay okay work it out it's worth it so this person could definitely be like i'm ready to work it out it's totally worth it you're worth it also when i was just saying like with you like doing some kind of like physical transformation as well work it out you could meet this person while you're working out or at some kind of gym or like out jogging or out at the park or something that you're out there being more physically active you could meet this person doing that as well okay lovers just sex so so possibly in the past um Possibly in the past, you and this person were just kind of like a hookup or just kind of something like that where you guys like came in and back into each other's lives uh, over time, you know, um, so that's in the past. Or for some of you, you could just when you meet this person again, you could just be like, let's just keep it casual. Oh, as I say that lunch date casual. So I definitely feel like either in the past or either right now, it, it could be that you're like, you know what, look, I don't, I'm not trying to get into a real relationship right now. I'm just trying to have some fun. I'm just trying, you know, and you meet this person, you're like, look, I know that it's, I know that I feel safe with this person. I know or it feels familiar. Like I know this person, they know my body. I know their body already. It's not, we're not having to go through all of the, all of the process of getting to know each other and trusting each other and meeting each other. And although that is very like, it's very exciting and very fun. Like for you right now, you could just be like, oh, this would be a quick hookup. This could be a quick something that it's like, you know, or maybe in the past, it's like, mm, we didn't work out as like being in a relationship, but you know what? 
when we do the bang bang though it's like bang bang right like so you could be like mm. or you know if you know that's not what you're looking for be aware of this person might be coming towards you and they might still kind of have that old mindset but however what it is this person doesn't want whatever you guys have to end right so whatever this little break that you guys took this person as like four swords in reverse no right and i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to lose you that's what's kind of coming up with this five of swords for me um I'm not going to lie, for some of them, they could even be a little ego, there could be a little ego involved in it too, because they could have seen you dating other people or being with other people and they're like, nah, like I don't, I don't like that necessarily. So be aware, that could also be there for some people. That's not for all, but for some of them, yes. For most of them, it's like, I don't want to lose this opportunity to have you back in my life again, in whatever way you were in their life, right? Okay, let's keep going. Guide. Okay, so light attribute rep, uh, represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. Shadow attribute places financial gain and control over Im imparting spiritual insight. Excuse me. So again, with this divine orchestration, this guide, I really see how this, this guide is like pointing, that finger like pointing towards, I really feel like you could be being pointed or guided this way, but it is reminding me of the hermit card. So I want you to make sure that you are not manifesting this person out of a place of loneliness, right? So check yourself on that. Make sure that you are not manifesting this person out of a place of loneliness. I just want somebody to be with, right? Now, if you're like, I know what I want and I just want to hook up and I want it to be with safe and I want it to be something that I know is going to blow my wig back, right? That's one thing, right? But make sure you know that's what that's actually what you want. Know yourself and know what you really want in this circumstance out of this, right? And be very honest and open and be very discerning about exactly what it is this person is offering you. And exact don't don't get yourself in thinking, oh, well, it was this in the past, and, and don't worry, I won't get feelings involved. If you know, just be very honest with yourself. If you know that you want to get feelings involved. Oh, I can't make that decision for you. It's for you. But just know, know what you want. Really be honest with yourself, right? Really be honest with yourself about what you want out of this circumstance and be honest with this person about what you want out of this, okay? But I definitely feel like for some reason, whether, you know, whether or not it's a karmic reason or whether or not, you know, obviously if, it's, if this person has come back around, there's some lesson here that this person is here to teach you or something that you're going to learn here in this circumstance, right? So you're being guided, you are being guided to be, you know, for this person or this person, you know, if you weren't supposed to meet, you wouldn't, right? So, oh, okay. Vampire. Light attribute makes you aware of someone or something that is draining your life force. Shadow attributes depleting others uh, for your spiritual, sur or, or, sorry, yeah, no, your psychic survival. Mm, chronic complaining and codependency. So yeah, be careful, okay? Be careful about who this person is. You could, as always, you know this person more than I do. You could know that you are recovering from this, okay? You you might label this person as this, or you might know that you're recovering from an energy like this, okay? You could meet this person again just so that you could be like, mm, you know what? That's not for me, or you know what? This is something, or whatever it is, right? It's on you, though. This is a general reading, and it's and so I don't want all of you to be like, oh, red flags is my narcissistic ex and blah, 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 right? You will know. Obviously, if you see your narcissistic ex, you're not going to be like, let me jump back into bed with them, right? Hopefully not, right? So be aware of that, okay? Be aware of this. Makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. So this person could come back into your life and could knock your socks off and you could be like, yo, that person that I was dealing with, they don't make me feel this way or something like that, right? There is also another option here with this vampire energy. So just be aware of what's going on in your energy, right? Monk or nun, okay? Selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit. Shadow attributes, negative judgment of the physical world, excess piety. So yeah, so like I said, you could meet this person on some kind of spiritual retreat. This person could be some kind of spiritual leader or something like that. Or you could meet this person through. I know, you know, like some maybe you go to church and your pastor or somebody is like, have you, have you met so-and-so? Or did you know about so-and-so? Or like, you know who told me they that they used to know you and I had no idea? This person, and you're like, oh, it's my ex. Like you go to this church now? Like, yeah, I just moved into town or something like that. And you're like, oh, so be aware of that. Okay. This person, you could like, it's really giving me like, you could meet this person either in some, with some kind through some kind of spiritual, um, something or another, whether or not it's, you know, 
I also feel like for some of you, this person could try to come off as like this monk nun, like, ooh, ooh, but they're actually a bit, they're actually kind of vampire energy here. So be aware of that. That's not going to be for all of you, okay? This is a general reading. Don't hear this part of it and automatically think, oh, great, I'm manifesting a new narcissist ex into my life. Don't think that, okay? If you don't reject that, okay, don't automatically think that, okay? Um, if you feel like that's a possibility, uh, change up your energy, change what you're thinking about, change what you're giving energy to right? Like I said in the beginning, you are always able to, you know, knock off something if you feel like, nah, this ain't my bag, okay? But we're going to keep getting into the energy. But for some of you, I'm not going to lie, for some of you, it could be a karmic energy that could, you know, that's like my ex, but in a new body kind of energy, right? So be aware of that. But for, for a lot of you, I feel like, yeah, I'm getting a mixed bag here. I am getting a mixed bag. I'm going to be honest about that. True love, right? So for some of you, this is a person that is looking at you like their true love. So they're coming back around. They're being like, you were my true love. I can't believe that I lost you. I can't believe that I almost let this go. Like, I don't want to let this go. Um, but it is giving me this kind of energy. Like one of you wants one thing and the other person wants another. It's giving me like, perhaps maybe this person is coming into your life, especially if they're ex or if they're old person coming back into your life. They're like... I want something serious and you might be a little bit more like I just want something casual. So just make sure that you're being open and honest about what you really want out of the situation, okay? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. What did I say, right? I could say this person could come back or if this is a person, you know, this person could be like trying to make the moves kind of fast on you, right? That could be like really quickly trying to ask you to marry them or be involved in them. It's going to be up to you to, to know exactly what spiritual lesson this person is bringing into your life, right? Unrequited love. So I don't, right? Like I said, it's a mixed bag. For some of you, this is a person that you're like, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure about. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I really feel like for, for some of you, please be wary of that, okay? Please be wary of re role reversal, right? As if in the past, this person really, you wanted something serious and this person didn't take you seriously. And now this person is coming back into your life and you're like, now I don't take you seriously and now you want something seriously. Or be aware, you know, be aware that that energy could be there, right? So just be open and honest about what you really want, new love. Like I said, for some of you, this is somebody from the past, and some of you, this is a new love coming into your life, okay? So just be aware of that. This could also be a person that's teaching you to let go of these vampiric, unre unrequited love issues from the past, okay? Should I say that? Okay, so Spirit is guiding me. So for some of you, I feel like this person could want to marry you, but I'm not sure if you want to marry this person. I'm not getting like long-term partner vibes off of this person. I'm not sure. I don't know. Some of you just needed to hear that. That's like I said, that's not going to apply to everybody, but some of y'all just wanted and needed to hear that, right? Yeah, I'm hearing somebody say, what's wrong with a little bit of fun? Yeah, okay. Well, do you, right? I have no judgments on you. I'm just here reading the energy for you. Okay, so now we're going to get into the more 18 plus energy where it's like, okay, if you do decide to go through, uh, what's going to be going down in the bedroom for you and this person, okay? Wow, that came out quick. <laughs> Dang, okay. So the page of wands and the four of pentacles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny that both of these people look like almost the same people, like the female energy here yeah okay so this is coming out really strong one of you might have red hair and one of you might have black hair it could be um okay i'm gonna show this one it could be the masculine that has the red hair and the feminine could have black hair or it could be the other way around right it could be the other way around but i am getting that energy here okay as well as so the page yeah there's a lot of page energy here i feel like with this high priestess here i feel like your intuition knows right your intuition knows what you're doing here in this circumstance so make sure that you are paying attention to those intuitive messages okay um when it comes to this person the death energy so I feel like it'll definitely be a big transformation or a transformation has happened here, either between you and this person or the past or being involved with this person is going to make, it's going to be very transformational for you. Okay. Or like I said, at the end, it, it could, 
I don't, I'm not getting like long-term partner person. So eight of wands. I feel like there's going to be a lot of talking in the bedroom going back and forth between the two of you. A lot of talking afterwards, a lot of talking before it could be talking during if that's what you're into. If you're into the, shh, shh, we don't talk. Okay. <laughs> but I really feel like, you know, with this eight of wands, there is going to be some talking, some opportunities, some doors opening. Suddenly this person just coming careening into your life and you're like, where did you just come from? Like, whoa. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like rounds too with that eight of wands too. <laughs> okay. Um, rounds energy for, I, I feel like this person is not going to want to let you go. Um, this person is going to want to hold you up in, in, in the bedroom and keep you there, you know, for rounds. Like I said, with the rounds energy, uh, page of wands energy, I really, it's giving me big, like really quickly coming, like I said, again, really quickly coming in to this situation, very passionate, very hot and heavy, very, oh my gosh, I missed you. Maybe even some drinking involved here if you guys are out, Page of Pentacles. But there is going to be this energy of wanting to commit, but it is page energy, right? It feels non-committal. I'm going to I'm gonna be honest. Like, I feel like this person is going to be talking a good a good game. Sorry, it's going to be talking a good, a good game, but it does feel like you know, immature energy when it comes to that, you know, these, there aren't any kings or queens energy coming out here, you know, um, it's not giving me so much like toxic karmic cycle or anything like that, but it is giving me somebody that's going to come in this part. And I, it really feels like the masculine energy. So whoever the masculine energy here is going to get very caught up very quickly in you. It feels very much so like one person is like googly eyes for, for the person and the other person is a little more like, it really feels like the feminine energy is like, yeah, I really like you. You're cool. And the masculine is just like, amazing and bad I love it it's the best I've ever had kind of energy that's what it's kind of feeling like but this death energy I definitely feel like there were there will be an enter there will be some transformational there'll be a cycle ending here for you yeah and look look at this couple that's laying here again with the darker darker colored and then uh, and then a redhead energy look at the man's face the man's like oh my god and the woman's like yeah that's pretty good but this man is like <laughs> right what'd you do <laughs> what'd you do right <laughs> so it's it's getting so it's not giving me like you're not gonna not be satisfied by the physical energy between the two of you but it is giving me like one of you is good like the, especially the masculine whoever the masculine energy here regardless of gender or however you want to say that right regardless whoever whoever resonates in the more masculine energy is going to be like oh my god yes this is amazing and the feminine energy is going to be less attached i feel like okay look look you made me finish so hard, right? Yeah. Um, it's just like, he's like, you make me just like so there, like, right? Like, I am so ready. Yeah. Stare into your eyes while you ride me. So yeah, I feel like this person like really likes the intense stare. I definitely feel like this person, feel I, the, the feminine energy feels like the dominant energy as, as far as it comes to like the bedroom energy, just because the man's just like, oh my God, like how, how you do this? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so what's it taste like, mom? Like, I want to know. What's it taste like? Look, let's talk after lay your head on my chest. Yeah. So here, especially if it's like this X vibe, you could, you guys could be out drinking or partying and you kind of do the hookup thing. And then you're kind of laying there afterwards and the man's like, oh, yes. And you're kind of like, it's not giving me this big, like, like I regret that energy, but it is giving me this kind of like, we should talk about this. Like exactly what are we doing here? Kind of energy afterwards. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You guys, my cat. I want to kiss you all night. Yeah. Love you from, uh, lick you from head to toe. Sorry. Uh, yes, look. I love to stay inside while, while you uh, finish. It's the best I ever had. Wow. So definitely it is kind of this, the best I ever had energy. Um. Like I said, right? It's like this, oh my gosh, this is so crazy energy, especially for the masculine. I, and like I said, I'm, I'm not like the feminine energy is not like, I don't know, it's a, you know, it's not giving me that vibes, but it is giving me like the masculine is like blown away here. 
excuse me. And again, with that, I want to kiss you all night. Uh, I want to play with them. Can I buy them? Okay, I want to play with your TV. <laughs> what you got going on? I want to buy them. I want to play with them. Kind of energy, right? Next time I see you, it's on site. So exactly, this person is like, next time I, like, when I see you, I'm going to rush in and I'm going to be like, oh my God, it's you. Yes, I can't believe this. Um, break the bed. I want it so hard. And roll over and start again. Morning. You know, they want to do it in the morning. They want to do it tonight and they want to do it in the morning. So definitely multiple rounds, like I said. And again, right, I love to stay inside while you finish. It's the best I ever felt. So this person likes, if you're the feminine energy here, they like how you grip, right? They're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And again, uh, just you and me, let's plan a getaway. So again, like I said, you can meet this person while you're traveling. You can run into this person while you're traveling or this person could want to travel with you. Um, they definitely want things to change between the two of you. They're like... I don't, I don't want to be in this separation anymore. I know that, right? So, for some of you, you know who this person is, but we're going to get into some physical attributes if this person is new, a new person for you. So, what's this person look like, Spirit? What's this person look like, okay? What's this person look like for Paul 1? What's this person look like? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, so straight hair. This person could have gray eyes, they could be thin, they could have colored hair, okay? They're very muscular. So they're thin and they're muscular. They could have unnaturally colored hair or just not, not, not their natural colored hair. Gray eyes, like I said, are light colored eyes as well as straight hair. And I see this black hair right here. They're natural. They might naturally have black hair or when you knew them. Look, and I, for some reason, I pulled that out. Look, didn't we say that? I said that, right? Red hair, black hair. So either this person like used to have black hair and they changed it or vice versa. Or like I said, one person has red hair, one person has black hair. That just keeps coming up. And that came up in every single one of your cards. Every single one of your cards. One person had black hair, one person had red hair. That's wild. Okay. That's wild. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, let's pull some signs, please. What's the sign? What uh, what could possibly be the sign of these of these people coming into Power One's life? Okay, okay, okay. Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius. Spirit saying two more. Gemini. There's Cancer, but we'll see if it comes out. There's Cancer and Taurus. There's Cancer again. Taurus again. So they're definitely Cancer and Taurus energy here, okay? Um, we'll see what comes out. Taurus came out. So definitely, and look, didn't I mention Virgo too? So definitely. So this person, like in the background, they might not be a sun. So their sun sign might be something like a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Libra. Really heavy air sign energy here. Um, but they also could have Taurus, Virgo, or that Cancer very prominently in their chart, okay, as well. So that energy is definitely here. Or you, kid, right? So let the energy resonate as it does for you. All right, I'm going to finish this reading up, okay? Wow, I can't believe we blazed through that, all those cards so quickly. What's some advice for you? Let's get some advice from Spirit for you from the Breaking Light. Messages deck, some advice for Pile 1 on this on this person that they're manifesting and on this love that they're manifesting. This lover that they're manifesting. Can you give us a, a, some advice, please, Spirit, for Pile 1? Okay. Definitely some advice is here for you. Oh, wow. That's a lot already. Okay. All right. That's going to be it. Take a swim and just flow with it. So Spirit's telling yourself, just go with it. Grab me and hold me tight. What did I say? This person definitely is, is going to definitely grab you and hold you tight. Okay. They're definitely going to want to hold you tightly into their life. Right. A hundred percent for sure. Okay. Uh, I feel your heartbeat. Do you feel mine? So I definitely feel like there could be a really intense. I'm getting like a really intense moment between you and this person when you're like dancing or you're really close together. See so like this like kind of like chest together kind of energy here where the two of you are going to have like really an intense heartbeat uh, energy here. Um, I definitely feel like the two of you are going to feel very passionately like like drawn together and like they're you're really going to want it could it could start off really hot and heavy here where it's like the two of you come together and it's like psh, like a big passion explosion like really quickly um 
right? Free yourself from the past. So I definitely feel like spirit is telling you to free yourself from the past. If this is a person from your past, free yourself from the past of what you assume this person is or what you assumed this person was supposed to be to your life. Okay. Um, kind of just let it be what it is supposed to be. What are we building here? So I definitely feel like spirit is asking you to ask yourself, are you building from the past or are you building from something new? If you are asking yourself exactly what is going on here, I feel like that's a good question to be asking yourself. Don't think about it like continuously too much but I definitely feel like it is a question that is going to be you know like in your mind like exactly what's happening here no so before you get involved with this know what you're doing right I miss your touch so again right there's a lot of physical missing each other happening here we have to wait okay so maybe there was a, a, a time when you and this person came together maybe you didn't get physically intimate in the past maybe that it, things ended or things didn't go that far um or it's maybe kind of energy where you're like, okay, look, I need to see what we're building here, exactly what's happening before we can get physically intimate for, with each other. This is a soul contract. So yeah, this person is meant to come in back into your life when they are. There's more than one way to be strong. So I feel like this person is coming into your life to teach you or for you to teach yourself. There's more than one way to be strong. Pay attention to the red flags or any kind of warning signs that you're getting about this person, especially if there's somebody from your past or even now, right? Ask, make sure that you're asking yourself, is this what I really want? Want, right I like the way you take control so I, f I do feel like this person is going to be um or actually I feel like that's from this person spirit is telling you this person is coming into your life to teach you how to take control and how to really manifest what you really want right to know what you want in a situation here which is what I think here is what I think you are building here with this person yeah all right Paul one well, that's what I have for you. I can't believe we flew through that as fast as we did. Um, wow. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Like I said before, if this didn't resonate with you, I'm so sorry. Maybe check some of your other piles or check some of my other readings, or maybe I'm just not the reader for you. I'm so sorry if that's the case, but um, thank you for being here regardless. I really appreciate you. If you like the content, give it a like, okay? You are more than welcome to check out any of the other piles in this video or my other, video, my other videos. I do have an 18 plus playlist, so if you're interested in more kind of like love readings like that, I have a whole playlist with things on there which i'm sure you will find something that does resonate for you okay thank you so much for being here with me as always check all the, the links in the description box down below where you guys can purchase any decks that i have up for sale on my online shop where if you did like this breaking light deck here this is the channel message from the divine feminine okay you can purchase this deck on that um with that link down below there's a direct link as well as a link just to my shop where you can check out all of my stuff there's a link to donate or tip down below as well if you feel guided to do that as well as my contact information if you would like to get a personal reading from me if you did enjoy these services, okay? Thank you guys so very much for being here with me, okay, Paul One? And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hello, Paul Two. How are you lovelies doing? You guys picked the Amethyst Tower, okay? And I'm going to be honest, for some reason I'm being guided to share the fact that, um... I think it was sometime at the beginning of the year, my cat actually knocked this over and it cracked in half. And I was so upset and I was like, you know what, I'm going to glue it back together. So I glued it back together. I did some, you know, some work with it and it feels fine now. But uh, for some reason, I was being guided to tell you that this tower has already cracked open once. OK, this tower has cracked open. The tower has fallen one time already. OK. And there is a sense of the tower rebuilding now, right? The tower has fallen and now a new tower is being rebuilt, right? So I'm definitely getting that kind of energy for you, okay? So we're going to get into your pre-shuffled tarot cards first, all right? And then we'll get into this giant stack, okay, of pre-shuffled oracle cards that we have here, okay? And then we'll get into some more um, cards <laughs> later on, then we'll get into the more 18 plus stuff later on, all right? Mm. Okay. So I'm going to lay out the spread. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Ooh. 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 This is going to be intense. Okay, you guys. So, right off the bat, the first thing that I have to say, and I don't want you to get upset about this or anything, okay? We have the devil card twice now i'm not necessarily getting so much as like a toxic car karmic relate toxic karmic relationship here i am getting a very intense um very intense physical attraction between the two of you between the two of you okay i'm getting 
it's on and popping in the bedroom, at, you know, in the bedroom, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, out and put like, yeah, like I'm getting like really intense or it could be really strong Capricorn energy here as well. So it could be Capricorn um, energy as well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just like, that's such an intense energy, but I'm, I promise you, I'm not feeling heavy energy. I just feel very intense. This person is very intense. This person is also giving me kind of, they could be, cause they could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart or they just have this very transformational kind of physical intimacy with people. It's very transformational when this person has, you know, <laughs> when they have their ideas, it's like, I have my, it's like, I'm hearing like a combination of a bunch of songs. I'm hearing you drop the bomb on me. I'm hearing that you drop the bomb on me, baby. I'm hearing that, but I'm also hearing like I got my eyes on you energy. Um, yeah, so it's just like this intense like boom, like, oh my gosh, like who is that? Like, and they know. As soon as they see you, they're like, I know, they're like, come here. Like, I I want you. Uh kind of energy for sure. Okay. With the sun energy here, I feel like this person makes you very happy. I feel like this person makes you feel very free. I feel like this person makes you feel very in touch with your inner child. Um, I feel like, okay, for some of you, you could have a child with this person, but I'm not getting that energy very strong, but I'm just going to mention it, okay? But it's, it's giving me much more inner child energy as well as um, um, fire energy. There is, there, is, oh, there is definitely some fire energy here, okay? Um, I definitely feel... But I'm not gonna lie, when I was when I was shuffling out your cards, I was getting very tired. So I don't know if this person just has a very intense like magnet magnetism to them, or if it's like you're just gonna be really tired, you're just gonna be spent, like spent all the time with this person. Like it might even get to a point where you're like, okay, like we really have to get out of the bed. Like I can't spend all my time in bed with you. Like I can't do that. Like, whoa. But I definitely feel like this person makes you feel very free. I definitely feel also too, like, you know, you see this baby, they're like, throwing, they got that flag, but it's really giving me like throwing their clothes off, like even out in public. Like, you know, if that's your thing, if it's not your thing, that's okay too. But it's giving me a very like free energy. I definitely feel like you're going to hit the, you're going to, this person's going to come into your life when you're very much on a high point. Okay. Um, you're looking really good. You're shining bright, like a star energy here. Like you're really, you're manifesting a lot of really a great abundance into your life here with this queen of pentacles. Okay. You're manifesting a lot of really great abundance into your life. I definitely also feel like you're looking good. You're feeling good with this queen of wands here as well. Um, you're looking good. You're feeling good. You look so attractive to this person. Like I said, this person's very attracted to you. You're extremely attracted to this person. And, um, this person is definitely attracted to the abundance energy. They feel that around you as well. And I definitely feel like they also have this abundant energy as well. Um, I'm hearing wealthy. This person could be wealthy or they could look very wealthy. Or just in general, they have this kind of like energy about them that you're just like, what, what, are you, what have you got going on? Okay. And then they feel that same thing with you. I definitely feel like, like, obviously with the title of the video, it's you're manifesting this person, but I really feel like that both of you have manifested each other into each other's lives. And there is this balance of this justice energy that's coming out here. It's like, you're getting what you ask for. There is this balancing out energy that's happening. And that's why this person is coming to your life. They could also have a Libra strongly in their chart. Okay. Uh, or you could, okay. I'm definitely getting strong Capricorn Leo energy with the sun here, as well as Libra with this justice card here um so as well as earth sign or fire sign energy as well prominently in your chart somewhere um what is the magician is the magician virgo gemini is it gemini i'm sorry i can't remember that but anyway um but yeah i'm feeling that really strongly like you are really like <laughs> it's on and popping when this person comes into your life i'm not even gonna lie and it's intense it's an intense sexual um, passion between the two of you, even possibly like a sexual, like you might even have to step back and be like, look, like, am I getting too attached to this person, um, physically on a physical level? Like I'm talking about you just doing it and 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 doing it. And your people still calling you and your friends are like, we haven't seen you in three weeks. Where are you? And you're like, I've, I've been in the sex zone, right? Like you're just like, I'm sorry, but like maybe it's been a while. It could have been a while for both of you and you're just kind of like doing it and doing it and doing it. You know, that's why I just get that. There's like really intense energy here, okay? But it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel heavy, but it does feel like you might have to take a step back and be like, okay, like we need to have our clothes on for a little bit longer. Um, Yeah, so I don't want you to get too scared off by this double devil energy here. I'm just feeling like this really intense 
like sexual chemistry between you and this person. And I definitely feel like when this person comes back into your life, I feel like your your solar plex and your shakal chakra just like bloom and explode. And it brings a lot of abundance into your life too. You could see a lot of positive things happen into your life like all over the place where it's just like, oh my God, it's just like win after win after win and victory after victory after victory because you are in this much more like open, like open manifesting spot, you know, space. Like your energy is opening up and so all this stuff is just like crazy flowing into your life as well. Okay, where do we want to go? I think with pile one, I went with the monology first, so we'll do that. Let's see, what's going on? Full men in Sagittarius look at the bigger picture. So I definitely feel like this person is like a big picture thinking. They're, they're, I see the two of you like laying in bed doing a lot of pillow talk together, being like, oh, this person is a big dreamer, I feel like. I feel like this person is like, I, I have all these goals. I want to do this and I want to go here and I want to do there. And you're like, yeah, I want to do that too. Or I want to do this. And I really feel like this person is achieving a lot of goals and a lot of things happening in their life. And I feel like you are too. So I feel like that's why the two of you's energy is kind of lining up. But I definitely feel like, oh... I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling that paper cut um, sensation on the tip of my tongue, which usually means somebody is lying in this situation. So I would just be aware of that. Serenity is divine, full with this full moon energy here. So there is a divine plan here that's happening. I really feel like there's the big surrender. There's double, all three of these are full moon energy. So there is a lot of release that's happening in this. Conclusions are within reach energy with this full moon eclipse. So I definitely feel like there, there is... Um, spirit doesn't want you to get so distracted by this that you forget the big picture as well, right? Like I said, where it's like on your back all the time, just like, like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then you're like, okay, wait, like, I need to get these projects done. I need to do this stuff. You know, I can't be calling out to work. You know, I can't be doing this. There is an energy here and I keep on feeling this sensation. So I haven't got out quickly. exactly what is it? Why am I feeling this sensation, spirit? Okay, so for some reason, for some of you, I'm getting, all Spirit wants to say for a lot of you, be careful sharing certain long-term dreams with this person. I'm not exactly sure why they want me to say that, but the sensation is gone now. So that's exactly what it was. Be careful, because it, it did start, that kind of like slashing sensation that I was having did start when I was talking about you, the two of you laying in bed and talking about your dreams. Uh, be careful. Be careful certain sharing, um, you know, don't lay in bed with this person and just like divulge like all your deepest secrets and all of your things like that, especially not right away. Um, yeah. There is an energy here of just keeping some things to yourself, keeping some of your manifestations to yourself, keeping some of the things that you have, all the some of the positive things that you have coming into your life to yourself, because um, I feel like this person could share it with somebody that perhaps maybe doesn't have the best, the best intentions. Now, I don't really feel like it's necessarily this person that doesn't have the best intentions, but this person could, somebody could overhear this person talking about something, something that you came up with or something that you were doing, or, you know, this person could have somebody around them that they're, that they're like, oh my gosh, this person is so great. They have all these great ideas and they're doing all this stuff and they have all these dreams. And I um, mean, like we were laying in bed the other night and they were talking about doing this and they're doing that. And that's just so amazing. Don't you feel like that's amazing? And this other person is kind of like, hmm. You know, that kind of energy where it's not, it's it's kind of giving me third party energy where like this person could just be kind of gushing about you or, you know, they could share unintentionally kind of throwing a wrench in something that you're doing with something that they, somebody that they could overshare some information about you with. Or like I said, um, this person... I feel like this person could also be a little bit of a kiss and tell sort of type person. So, um, I really feel like this person could share, could have somebody that they talk to, um, like a friend or a close relative or something like that, that they, sh that they share 
other people's business with. Not like in a gossipy kind of, oh, I'm trying to be catty sort of type way, where this person just trusts this other person and they're like, oh, you were they it's giving me like an offhandedly mentioning something that you're working on. And unbeknownst to this person, this other person could have you know, could have, it, it's just the whole, like, keep your manifestation to yourself. Don't tell this person about all your grand plans about, oh, yes, you know, what? I had a dream the other day that I had a, I had, that I had this great idea. And so it's like, well, what is it? And, and you're like, oh, I had this idea for a business or something where you should, where you do this or you do this or you do that. Right. And this person could be like, that is a brilliant idea. Oh my gosh. And just not without even thinking about it, this person could share that with somebody else. And then that person could do something with that information, might take the idea or might market a name or like copyright a name or something like that. I mean, and if it came out, this person would be like, what the hell? Like, why did you do that? You know, but it would be a, a circumstance where you would feel betrayed or backstabbed by this person. So watch out what you say to this person, because, yeah, I'm hearing that loose lip, loose lip sink ships. So this person does have somebody in particular that they um, share information with offhandedly. It's giving me off. It's not giving me like this person is like, ha ha, got your secret. And now they're running and going and telling somebody else. Right. But it is giving me like a they could share something that you that it's not for you to share. Right. It is something and that is something that spirit has given to you just for you. And it's not for you to share with other people. Not yet. Right. So just be aware of that, especially when it comes to this. And it also and spirit is also saying, don't forget that you are on, don't get all caught up in how great the ding or the puss puss is, right? The poom poom and, and, you know, you know, stop doing your manifest, your meditations and your workouts and your other stuff, you know, and your, um, you know, don't get so distracted in how fantastic it is because spirit's like, that's fine. We're happy that you're enjoying this and that you're embracing that part of your body, right? Don't get too distracted, right? Um, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> you know, be like, hey, yo, like, we're gonna have to spend some other time working out or doing some other things like, hey, like, I need my personal space. Don't forget to, to keep your boundaries up in the sense of look, I need time for my friends, for my family, for me just alone. Like you can't be at my house 24 hours a day. I we can't be in the sheets 24 hours a day. Like, we got to have some <laughs> some boundaries in, in this piece, because I feel like it's going to be really easy for the two of you to just be like, and like, never talk to anyone or never do anything so don't allow yourself to get too incredibly distracted by that keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you so i feel like um i'm hearing your ancestors approve of this person they do oh what did i just say boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries exactly right don't get don't get hung up in any kind of codependency with this person okay don't get hung up, hung up in any kind of codependency and be out there being all, you know, dangling sick or anything like that and be like, I got to have it 24 hours a day, right? Be mindful of the fact that, you know, yes, the universe has blessed you with this person that's giving, that's, you know, giving you the ride of your life, right? But don't forget about the bigger picture that's involved in this, right? Don't forget about the fact that your ancestors are still there expecting, expecting you here, this full moon energy, right, to... Um, don't forget the, the higher spiritual journey that you're on. <coughs> yeah. Don't forget, watch what you say to this person. And also, be you know, don't be scared to be like, hey, hey, I need my own space. Hey, I need my boundaries. Like, hey, no, actually, um, I think you need to go to your house tonight. Like, okay, you know, don't be scared to say that. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and leave? Yeah. So you're definitely evolving here. High Priestess, listen to your intuition, okay? There are going to be things and times when you are, you are being guided to keep some things to yourself in this situation here. So just be aware of that, right? Just be aware of there are some things that's just going to be just for you, okay? And that's okay. Sorry, hold on. I'm trying to fix my... I drink here. Whew. Yeah. Don't be scared. Don't be like, this is like one of the best relationships I've ever had or one of the best lovers I've ever had. So I'm kind of like, 
is it okay for me to say, hey, you need to go to your house? Hey, no, no, I'm going out with my friends. No, I'm going to go do this. No, you know, like, is that okay? I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, don't be afraid to establish your boundaries to say, just to say, no, this is not okay, or that's not okay, or whatever it is that you need. Don't be scared to let people know what you need out of this situation ever, okay? six months, six, uh, months, six or more. So it could be up to six months. Okay. Um, I don't know. You, you guys could be super, excuse, excuse me, like super, like, whoop, like for the first like six months, like super hot and heavy in this relationship or something like that. I'm not sure next week. Yeah. Okay. So something very significant could happen. Um, and you aligning with this person, you could meet this person next week. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm kind of getting that energy where it's like, oh, like, oh, no, I forgot to do that. I'll do it next week. Oh, no, I forgot to do this. I'll do it next week. Don't allow this situation to get you distracted from, from your, from your bigger plans, right? From your bigger plans of what you, what the long-term goals of what you really are here to do, right? Ace of Cups, Empress, Queen. Yeah, I definitely feel like that wet, wet. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Okay. So if you are looking for a feminine energy, okay, and this person, it's like a female body, okay, this person, they got that walk, okay? If not, then this person is gonna, yeah, ace of cups, it, it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel very passionate, it's gonna feel like a very, I feel like you're gonna feel very intensely about this person pretty quickly, and this person's gonna feel the same about you, but there is a danger here of getting like super, like quickly caught up in each other and forgetting about you know, and I'm not saying you're not, you're not going to be paying your bills and going to work or doing stuff like that, you know, but don't, don't get so distracted by this, that you're not still doing all of your spiritual evolving and everything that you're doing naturally, right? As you're going along with this student. Okay. Light attributes, humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. Yeah. Uh, you could be a student. This person could be a student. They could be, uh, you could, take some kind of class with them or something like that shadow attributes I'm not feeling this really strong but the shadow attribute arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge unwillingness to transmute knowledge into action yeah so so you'll be getting downloads you'll be getting guidance don't forget to keep keep up with your stuff okay you are the student you are this person who's constantly learning constantly growing constantly developing i feel like this person is going to be this way too this person is very much so going to open your eyes to new things you've never experienced new places you've never gone new foods new cultures new things that you've never experienced before and you're going to feel very caught up, right? Very caught up in this person and kind of just like the, the, the majesty of them and who they are, right? And I feel like this person is going to feel that same way about you because there's two devil cards here. So I feel like the both of you are very much so going to be like, like, oh my God. And like I said, this person, 100% queen with this queen of wands here, they are very attracted to you as well. Okay. Because it'd be this... What's a block card? So there could be some blocks here that you need to work on or that you need to... Um, yeah, there is a block here. I want to pull something for that. What do I want to pull? Hmm. No. Yeah. What's this block card here for? Okay. Can I trust you? Do you trust me? So this person is coming into your life to help you work on some trust issues. I feel like both both ways. The two of you are uh, coming into each other's lives to help each other work on trust issues. Okay poet the poet card a uh, light attribute expresses soul insights and in symbolic language shadow attribute turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effect so i definitely feel like yeah i feel like this person's very persuasive and i feel like you are too right i feel like see how this person here is like oh doves like oh my god it's so wonderful this love is so amazing right be careful that you're not putting it up on a pedestal everybody still has their light and their dark attributes like just the same way as you do right um i definitely feel too also i'm getting really strongly here and I feel like this is a this is a big energy for both of you. Be careful about speaking about this to other people because there are some people that you feel like would be happy for you that are not going to be happy for you in this love, right? Be careful on both your sides, <clears throat> especially this person. This person has got somebody around them, okay? Oh, and suddenly my chin is itching out of nowhere. I don't know why, but I don't know exactly what that means, but it, was, it just got itchy out of nowhere. This person has somebody around them that is not a big fan of theirs and is not a big fan of yours, okay? And they don't like, you know, maybe they're like, 
ever since you came into contact with this person, you know, yeah, like I said, you might have people that are like, y'all are up each other's butts way too much. Like, y'all need to get some space. Y'all need to get some room. Like, y'all can't just be doing it 24 hours a day. If that's all this person sees you as, that's not good. Or yada, 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 yada. Okay. There could be some people on both of your sides, okay, that, or you guys could have exes that are kind of toxic or something like that, that are not going to like the fact that the two of you are coming together, right? They're not going to like that. And I'm not going to lie, Spirit is saying there is a danger here of, of becoming physically, sorry, my cat was wiggling her butt all over the camera, I don't know what she was doing, I was like, stop! Uh, but there is, <laughs> okay, with that, there is... A thing here, okay, that two of you could get a little too caught up in each other, right? So make sure that you are setting, that both of you on both sides are setting up those healthy boundaries between each other, right? And definitely be careful about who you speak to this with. I also feel like this person could be, um, person could be a student. One of you could be younger and one of you could, there could be an age difference here. I don't feel like a big age gap, like five years maybe, something like that. That definitely could be happening here. Um, you could be a student of this person. This person could be an or an orber or some type. Like they, they use their, their mouth. They're very gifted with their words. They're very gifted with, um, they're very poetic. They're very smooth. Smooth operator, smooth operator. Yeah. So this person, yeah. Um. Uh, they are. They're very smooth. So they're. Hey, uh uh. You, you guys see that? Or you guys, you guys don't see that. You guys hear that? My cat's trying to. Yeah. So you guys could have some people that are being catty in the background that have something negative to say about each other, about the two of y'all. Okay? Whatever. To what they got to say. Like, I ain't got no. Whatever. Right? But there might be some. Especially like female friends, this person. Um, could have female friends that don't that are kind of like why are you here and it's like no why are you here uh, kind of energy I don't know why I got that or you could have some catty female friends that are kind of like mm, I don't know about this person or something like that there is a, a, a there is an issue here there is a block here as well of learning how to trust other people learning to trust yourself learning to trust your intuition learning to trust your spirit guidance and also learning to trust in other people that you are in relationships with as well because i definitely do feel like you will be in a relationship with this person um it's really gonna determine to you and what you're really looking for this could be i'm not getting like super short-lived relationship this could be like a year or two relationship or this could be something long lasting it just depends on how things go down and the choices that both of you make okay so I definitely feel like this could be something that could last some years of your life or this could be something that lasts um oh yeah wow spirit saying for some of you this could be the person you end up marrying this could be like the rest of your life but it really depends it really depends on the person and it depends on you and it depends on what you're in because this is a general reading so it depends on what your inner in individual reading or what your individual thing is right but i do feel like with that six months or more i feel like you could be really really hot and heavy with this person for like the first like several months i just heard a bird that's so loud can you guys hear that I think it's a red bird too. I'm trying to learn bird calls, you guys, because I get so many messages from birds. I'm like, what is that? Um, but yeah, so it could be. It might not be though. But with that bird, again, sounding off right as I said that, I definitely feel like the two of you are going to be like, inseparable for like the first like six months or so of your relationship and then you might have a, a situation where you're not a situation but you might have a, a, a occurrence come up where you're like look um I love you this is great we are fire in the bedroom and it, that is amazing however <laughs> however um <laughs> I'm not getting that the two of you are only in the bedroom. I, I, I am getting that you're going on dates, that you're meeting friends and family and doing that stuff. But you might have some people that are like, should you be moving this fast? Should you slow down? I'm, I'm getting like at the six month mark, something might, you know, where it's kind of like, okay, like this seems to be getting serious or we seem to be really taking each other really seriously. Like, uh, you know, what's happening here in the background, kind of developing and stuff. But I definitely feel like, God, this person makes you feel so happy. And this person makes your yoni like, like, 
like or whatever you got like i'm telling you like whoo is it amazing like oh okay okay what did i just say passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy okay you're gonna be singing all right okay passion and chemistry there is an intense passionate chemistry here between the two of you and definitely there's a strong magnetic attraction i said that earlier the two of you are like like magnets coming in together definitely uh stay optimistic about your love life so definitely feel like this person is also coming in to help you stay optimistic to be like wow like there really are some really nice relationships out there and i'm in one of them like wow that's really really nice right positive thinking and faith will bring you romance right so staying positive right now about knowing that you're going to have a great relationship with this person also definitely uh forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so i definitely feel like both of you are going to be forgiving exes forgiving old childhood trauma and things things like that as well especially with this block around this trust issues do you trust me can I trust you kind of issue that could be what kind of comes up that could be kind of it could kind of get up some one person could develop a little bit of jealousy or something or maybe it's that friend that I was telling you about that's like why is this person here there around a six month mark there could be like a why are you still here like wait the two of you are actually becoming serious like yeah we're I actually really like this person like Mm, that kind of energy it's it is giving me that kind of energy so be aware be aware of that okay so whoever you are be aware about sharing intimate details that this person shares with you and also for you be aware of sharing intimate details with this person as well okay that's just a little heads up that's happening there all right okay <laughs> um i feel like there is a strong uh, like psychic connection between you and this person too because i'm getting a lot of like of like the psychic itch, itch yeah so if you got if you were worried with this two of wands here about the two of you going on dates or about it being just in the bedroom it's not but you guys <laughs> i'm telling y'all like it's gonna be hard for you guys to like keep your hands off each other and definitely with the magician card here you guys are definitely 100 percent manifesting this connection um the two of you also might do like tantric sex or things like that so you guys might use like sex manifestation or something you know what i'm saying like intentionally or unintentionally i feel like there's a big energy for that okay so let's get into the 18 portion what's the physical intimacy going to be like between the two of you in this relationship okay nine of cups yeah it's going to be just what you want it's going to be just what you want. Just what the doctor ordered, okay? Um, strength. Oh, the strength, the strength card came out too. So I definitely feel... Um, I definitely feel like this is going to be empowering. This visit... This, okay, one, the two of you do like to have like dominance play in the bedroom as well. But I feel like it is going to make you feel so strong and so beautiful. And it is also going to make you feel like you are releasing like this wild energy inside of you and then learning how to tame it on the other side of it, right? Like, right? Things are going to get really hot and heavy and wild and passionate. And then you're going to be like, okay... I got to learn how to rein this part of me in, okay? <laughs> um, but I definitely feel like it is kind of releasing that beast kind of energy, okay? And then you learning how to tame it. You learning how to just empower. I just feel strong. You feel strong. You feel empowered. You feel like I am that chick. Like you walk down the street and you're like, Rat, like you're just like, mm, 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 mm. Walk it, walk it, run it. Yes, yes, yes. Work it, work it. And your booty's just like, pop, pop, pop. And everybody's like, who is that? And you're like, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Ace, Ace of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like the two of you manifested each other. And I'm just going to be honest. It's going to be all night long. All night long and the next morning, like going over and the two of you are just going to feel like, yes, like the two are going to feel like you're blessing each other. And see these candles here too. See the candles all lit and the person like all the way till morning. Like, yeah, it definitely is giving me that you guys could do like some kind of sexual magic together as well. Okay. Yeah, it's giving me big Kundalini awakening energy for the two of you, like big energy of that for sure. What's physical intimacy gonna be like here? What's it gonna be like? Okay, okay, calm down. Okay. As well as the two of cups on the back of the deck. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, if you are not, if you're a female here and you're not the biggest, the biggest person of liking to be on top, this person is gonna teach you to love to be on top okay especially reverse cowgirl this person loves reverse cowgirl also like like 
with this page of wands here. It is... I feel like the two of you are going to travel a lot together as well. Like, traveling, it's giving me, like, in the car, like, uh, like I'm not sure about on a plane, maybe on a boat or something like that. It's giving me a lot of, like, traveling energy. And it's giving me this big energy of just, like, being very swept up in each other. It's going to feel very, like, with all this wheat down here, it's going to feel very fruitful and abundant, okay? It's going to feel extremely fruitful and abundant. Strong. This person, uh, <clears throat> okay, this person, one, loves, they love your booty. They love your booty. They love reverse cowgirl. They love it. They love you to jump on top and just like ride that thing all the way home. They're just like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> um, like I said, if you're not the most confident on top, this person is going to teach you how to be confident. Whoever you are, this person is going to teach you how to build, how to feel very, again, right? They're going to teach you how to enjoy that wild ride, okay? <laughs> and you're going to be like, I got it. Like, holding on to the horns, like, blah, like, I got this, okay? Like, <laughs> okay? They are really going to teach you how to be extremely confident in being very confident in your body and confident in the bedroom. If you don't have that problem, they're going to teach you how to be even more confident. You're going to be like, oh, can't nobody tell me shit, okay? Like, period. Um... Six of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like this person is going to come visit you a lot. Right? They're going to come over to yours a lot. Or you're going to come over to theirs a lot. Okay? Again, very fruitful. Right? Very fruitful energy. This person likes showing up. I feel like this person likes... Um, this person might like to kind of be like, oh, no, I don't think I'm going to come over tonight. And you're like, oh, okay. And they show up at your house anyway. <laughs> they might kind of like to do that, where they just kind of spontaneously surprise you, like, not, 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 like I'm on the door. Because this person, it's not like this person is trying to trick you. They really like when you just naturally look how you look. Like, if, if they just walk up, you know, and like at your house, and you're just in sweats with no makeup on, you're just like chilling, like on the couch, you know, like eating something, and they're just like, oh, I love you like this. Like, you know, because sometimes they feel like, I don't think they're like, oh, you wear too much makeup or anything like that. But this person is like, they like to catch you in your like natural environment, how you naturally are. They like to show up and like surprise you and spontaneously and just like ding dong. It's like, who's at my door? And you open the door and they're just like, shoom, they like catch you off your feet. And you're like, oh my God, what are you doing here? Like you said that you weren't going to come over, like surprise, throw you over the couch. Like, let's do it right now. Like, I love to just catch you off guard and just love to just like catch you in your natural state. So, yeah, so this person loves you all done up. They love you no makeup. They love to catch you, like, come over, uh, you know, kind of, like, half-dressed half or something like that kind of energy. Um, they love all of that. They do. They really do. And it's going to be very equal. Again, with the Six of Pentacles, it's going to be very, like, I do you, you do me. Also, this person loves 69. Also, this person loves you to ride their face. That's also there, too. They love that. They're, like, jump on top. I want to ride. I do a Kegel when it's inside. Spit in my mouth. Okay, yes. <laughs> Spit in my mouth. Look in my eyes. Yes. Come take a dive. Yes, yes. No, this person is like... <laughs> they about it. They about whatever. They about it. Okay? Really, really. Oh. And the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, I remember I said this person just loves to, like, pick you up. Yeah. They like to pick... They like to feel strong. They like to be on top, too. They also like to stand up a lot like up against a wall or like lift you up on a countertop or something like that. They love that too. They love just like spontaneous. Oh yeah. Also this person might like to, okay. Uh, I feel like that's why maybe this person likes to catch you off guard because this person, they're like, they like to rip clothes. Okay. They might like to rip underwear or something like that. Okay. They might get a little rough. Maybe they're just like, you know, put the panties to the side and then you guys are doing it and they, they just like rip them off and you're like, that was expensive. Like, <laughs> calm down. I definitely feel like this person will, they'll be like, I'll replace it. I'll buy you new ones. It's fine. But I definitely feel like you might want to invest in like some nice looking, but cheaper <laughs> underwear, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Go to like Wish or She or Shein or something like that and just get something that's like cheap, but it looks nice, but it can be like ripped off and you're like, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't care. Um, 
Or even look. Look how this person here, like, look. They, the, her underwear is now, look. It's even, like, granny panties. Those aren't, like, thongs or anything like that. Like, they love to catch you in just, like, your regular wear, too. Like, they're like, let me catch you in some granny panties. I will put those things down around. <laughs> and just, like, go to town on you. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Also, I don't know why I'm getting this, but for some of you, this person, when they get more, this person might like to wear tidy whities I don't know why I just got that. But, like, they, I don't know if they like to, but they might. They might show up one day, you know, and you're taking their pants off, or they're getting undressed, and, they're, and you're just like, tidy white. You're like, underoos, like, what is this? And this person is just like, look, it's, it's laundry day, okay? Like, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Or this person might be that type of person that, um, because I've seen this before where they make like underoos, but like for adults. So it has like, you know, like Marvel characters or something like that on it. And you're like, what? And they're like, what? <laughs> like, what? What do you want from me? What? what do you want from me? Like, anyway, anyway, do I say anything? When you have your granny pennies on, I just move those hoes to the side and, and go on about my business. Like, I don't. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I'm also getting hair with like this frog that's over here on the side. I feel like you might have kissed a few frogs before you finally kiss your prince, right? Because I noticed this frog on the side and then I was like, kiss your prince. And I, saw, I noticed that they're kissing, right? So it definitely, it feels kind of like... <laughs> also, I feel like this person, one, this, this person, this person could be kind of hairy. I don't know why I got that. But, um, and also this person could be very like manly. This person could have like a beard, like a rough beard. Yeah. Like all the men in this have like, be have like stubbly like beards and stuff. So this person could have a beard. Also, I'm getting this person's very muscular too. Like all of the men that got pulled in this look very similar. Like, so that that person, this person might have this haircut. Let's see all the men. It's like the same man in every single one. So they could have, you know, like shoulder length. They're like kind of shorter, like a medium, like brown hair or black hair with like kind of like a beard. But it's, but I'm getting very buff. I'm getting, if it's a masculine, they're very buff. And if they're a feminine, I feel like they got, they got some big ones. And butt too. There's, there's big plump butt energy here too, right? See, like the booty, booty, booty. Booty, booty, hands on the booty, hands on the booty, hands on the booty. Yeah, this person loves your butt. <laughs> okay, let's keep going because we still have more. Oh, you guys is long. You guys are running long. Okay. I want to try you. Let's play around. Hand under the table. Control your face. Yeah, I did get that. That this person could kind of test your boundaries a little bit as far as like, I mean, if you're like, no, I don't want this. They're not going to push it. But they might, you know, you might be like, oh, my gosh, right here. Like, are you are you serious? And this person's like, yeah. Like, is that OK? And you're like, yeah, I guess so. Like, OK. Yeah. And what did I say? All night long, baby. All night long, baby, till the sun comes up. And then this person's going to take a little break, go let you rest for a little bit and be like, all right, pop, round two, let's go. Round three, round four, like, <laughs> uh, play, yeah, okay. This person might like that, okay. What did I say? Jump on top and reverse it, cowgirl. Yeah, baby. Jump on top, reverse it, cow, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I literally, because I heard that jump on top. I want to ride that again, right? What did she say? Like, in my mouth, right? Yeah. On my face. It tastes so good. Again, face riding. I thought this person likes face riding. person likes you to ride their face. Yeah, and I also got too, if you're a man and you're and you are wanting to be in a relationship with another man, they like you to face ride too. Okay. They don't care. 
Yeah, look, I want to try new things with you. Let's experiment. I was just saying that, right? You're like, mm, let's try something new. Like, I ain't never been with somebody. Uh, yes, look, I'm obsessed with your curves. I want to squeeze you. What I say? They like to squeeze them curves. Yes, yes. Because they did, yeah, when you're, like, walking, okay, they will, like, when you guys are, like, out in public or something, they will let you walk a look, like, in front of them. One, so they can have your back. But two... You know, they want to watch that booty bounce, okay? So they love they love you to be in stuff that, like, lets your booty, like, bounce and be free. So they love to stand, stand beside you, not only to have your back to make sure you're good, so let you walk in front, and they'll walk behind you, but also so they can be like, oh, wow, look at them cheeks. <laughs> look at them cheeks, my, like, yes. <laughs> or whatever you got. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. So look, also, like, you're my secret. Let's keep it on the download, right? Remember how I was like, at first, like, it might be like, let's not talk about this so much. Let's keep this to ourselves. But then look what it also, what it also cut on. On one side was, let's keep you a secret. So I think for the first like six months, the two of you might be a little bit more hush hush about it. Let's get serious. I'm buying a ring. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the two of you are going to be like, oh, we're in a relationship and we're getting married. And people are going to be like, wait, I don't even know this person. Like, what are you talking about? And you're like, look, we've already actually been dating for like like six months or almost a year. You guys just didn't really know about it. And everybody's like, where did this come from? Out of nowhere. I'm addicted to the way you make my body feel. Exactly. So there, there could definitely be some times when you have to be like, let's step back a little bit. Okay. Like, whoa, hold on. Yeah, I long to be in your arms. I love the way you shake afterwards. I definitely feel like this part, you know, like you're going to long to be to be around each other when you're apart. I love how synchronistic this deck is. I'm always. <laughs> okay, so one, one or both of you here might have a little foot fetish. Let me suck your toes. Okay, they want to see what them toes do. <laughs> I want to kiss you all night yeah oh look show up with nothing on remember this right them showing up and you're like whoop heck yeah they might like they might like that fantasy too okay there's one more let's take our time nice and slow so i definitely feel like yeah <laughs> one more let's take our time nice and slow. i definitely feel like this person I don't know if, I don't think that you guys are going to take your time nice and slow, like, getting physically intimate with each other, but I do feel like, like, once you're in, like, this person is not going to just be, like, pump, like, too pumped and done, right? They're going to be, like, all night long, like, I want to take my time working on your body, like, yeah, putting you, like, in the zone, reaching your, reaching your, like, ultimate fantasies and all of that stuff, right? Like, I definitely feel like that here, that could be a big thing here. Okay. I said just a few. Why are you trying to do this? Yeah. Let, let's reach our peak together. I definitely feel like this person is going to like this. Yeah. I touch myself and think of you. So I definitely feel like this person is just like, whoa, God, I can't stop thinking about it. What dream? So they're like, this person, I feel like before you meet too, this person is going to have some kind of um, dreams about you or wet dreams about you. And then I feel like in your absence, this person is going to be like, oh, I just dream about you all the time. I dream about being in your pants. Um, or if, like I said, if the two of you do, um, I'm not saying that you're gonna, like you could, you could go to bed like first night with this person, but you might not. But, um, if you don't, I feel like this person is definitely going to have those dreams pretty quickly about you. They're going to be like, <sighs> okay, let's get some physical attributes to this person. Oh my gosh. This is running so long. Mid-length hair, green eyes. What did I say? Right. I said that mid-length hair, right? What does this person look like spirit? What do you want to tell us about this person? Tell us uh-uh oh my gosh uh-uh okay okay so gray green this person could have like those gray green eyes or they could have gray or green eyes kind of light colored eyes maybe hazily colored eyes maybe colored hair this person could have colored hair or you could Ugh. oh my gosh everything just like fell on the floor so brown hair and blue blue eyes also fell on the ground so i feel like this person doesn't have light colored eyes hazel eyes so definitely thick <laughs> right I mean, this person just wanted to say so they wanted to be like my thick goddess like whew, this person could be thick too you know they could have it they could have them cakes okay 
lanky long legs. So somebody could have lanky long legs, somebody could be short, and somebody could be tall, okay? Um, that brown skin just keeps showing itself too. So this person could have like kind of like darker skin with like lighter color eyes, okay? Brown mid-length hair. Could be kind of like Mediterranean looking even maybe. I'm hearing um, Middle Eastern as well. This person could be like Middle Eastern, okay? Or you could be, yeah. So somebody's lanky with long, well, somebody's got really long legs here, they're tall. And like somebody is short. So you could have, so for some of you, I feel like this person is short and thick. Um, I'm getting more feminine vibes out of that, okay? Um, and then for some of you, I feel like they have light colored eyes regardless, medium length hair. Somebody here is like tall with really long legs and somebody here is short and kind of thick, okay? And, and like I said, either way, it's like gray, hazel, or like greenish eyes, like those kind of, that seems to be pretty much on for that, okay? Now let's, whoa, this is such a long reading. I'm sorry, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this though. Let's get some signs, please. So of course, as always, this could be your sign or this person's sign. So let it resonate as it does for you, okay? This person doesn't have to be this sign, but it is possible, okay? All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, look. Capricorn. Like I said, there is that Capricornian energy. They could have it very prominently in their chart. Aries, Pisces, Cancer, a Sagittarius, and a Virgo. And we did have that full moon in Sagittarius. So that's, there is a bunch of Sagittarius energy here, fire energy. There's fire energy. Um, yeah, I guess there's water, fire, and earth energy. So this person could have any of this like prominently in their chart. But yeah, again, that's Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo. And then of course, like we had the devil card here, like I said, with that Capricorn. And I feel like there's a really strong energy here of somebody with green eyes. Somebody with green eyes is coming through so strong. Oh, this is green eyes. Intense. Such an intense stare this person has. Like, my God, it's so intense. It's, it's like one of those stares when somebody like stares at you and you're like, <gasps> and you feel like that, that like, intense feeling in the bottom of your stomach okay like oh my god like yeah oh okay yeah this person had this very like very like look it's like you know like you know like when you've been in a relationship with somebody you know when somebody's thinking about like undressing you or you feel like somebody's feeling like being like giving you that look like we about it's about to go down yeah I feel like this person has a very distinct look that they give you and you know you're like oh shit like it's about to go down <laughs> <laughs> or you two could be the type of people where you're just like sitting there talking you're like blah 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 and then all of a sudden you're just like you just like oh like <laughs> go after each other like that right where it's kind of just like that look and you guys are just like it's yeah it's about to go down look i'm walking away from a toxic situation so i definitely feel like here you, you and this person both i feel like are definitely trying to avoid any kind of like toxic codependencies or anything like that together wrap yourself up in warm loving energy yeah so spirit is saying like love yourself up you know love yourself up and down right and wrap yourself in that warm loving energy yeah take a deep breath it's all coming to you in time so don't worry about the timing of this person they're coming in um just on time okay i am surrounded by great abundance that definitely with that queen of pentacles energy came in really strongly okay any other advice come and find me so there definitely is a come and find me energy here i feel like it's like you like i said you guys will find each other just when you're supposed to kiss me like the first time every time like i said i think it, it's like I, I it's like i can't get enough um yeah it, it's it's just like oh my gosh this, it's just like every time we come together it feels like the first time every time like kind of energy where it's just like oh my gosh Spirit is guiding me. So definitely there is a lot of like spirit being guided together. So trust your intuition and trust your spirit guidance. Okay. I'm learning how to lead myself energy and I see you in my dreams. Again, that's coming out. So I feel like the both of you are going to see each other in your dreams before you meet. And I feel like after you meet as well, the two of you will be energetically like meeting each other in your dreams. Don't smother your emotions. Use them as your guide. Exactly. So don't try to swallow your emotions. Don't be scared to, you know, 
yeah, pay attention to your own red flags and your own and your warning signs too, right? Like, don't be scared to say, oh, look, we're spending too much time in the sheets together. Like, whoa, like, let's slow this down a little bit. I'm not trying to get codependent on, on it, right? Um, Just be aware of that kind of energy as well. Okay, Paul 2, that's enough. You guys have gotten so much. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, Paul 2. This is almost an hour long reading. I'm sorry, you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. If you're still here, wow, really appreciate you guys. Hope that you really enjoyed this. Um, again, if this doesn't sound like your thing, you're free to treat. To, you are free, excuse me, to choose another pile in this video or choose a different video if you feel like something else would align with you better. Okay. I have a whole playlist of 18 plus play, uh, playlists or love, love pick a cards and like any like channel messages and things like that. So go check that out. Thank you guys for all my new subscribers as well as my day ones. Appreciate you guys. Like it was just blew up out of nowhere. I really appreciate you guys <laughs> for being here. Okay. Um, let me know if this resonated for you down in the comment section down below, down below if you're claiming this. Sorry, I'm trying to rush. Let me slow down. <laughs> check out as always all the links down below where you can um, purchase the decks that I made myself, um, there's direct links as well for this uh, Breaking Light deck. If you enjoyed this, that's down below or just go check out the site. I appreciate all of the um, links and the clicks on that as well. Okay. As well as there, if you enjoyed it, there is a link to tip uh, down below or donate to the channel. Very much so appreciate if anybody does that. Also, if you would like a personal reading, okay. My contact information is down below underneath the video, as well as the link to my new channel, my new second channel that I have where I do my Zodiac readings as well, okay? Thank you guys so very much for being here with me. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications. Share it with somebody if you feel like it could help somebody else, okay? And like the video if you liked the content. I really appreciate you guys. I hope this gave you the love, light, and clarity and entertainment that you were looking for. This is really intense. So <laughs> if, it, if it seems like your cup of tea, go ahead and do what you do, okay? Again, if it's not if it's not what you're really into, or if it's not what you're feeling, you are more than welcome to change what you are manifesting, okay? So thank you guys very much for being here with me, Pal 2, and I will see you lovelies in the next one. Bye. Hello, Paul 3. How are you lovelies doing? You guys chose the green calcite tower. Okay. Wow. Okay, sorry. So time to wake up, Paul 3 is what I'm getting. It's time to wake up. Sorry about that. I thought it was really loud, but, um, yeah. So I was got it to say there was something here about this tower, right? Okay. I was got it to say there was a little incident that happened with the, with these three towers that I had, um, where my cat knocked them over. And one of my cat, one of my towers got like chopped, like got cracked in half and I glued it back together. And this tower got the little, just the very tip of it, like, cracked okay but I'm getting that it's kind of giving me a sensation here of like a tower or something almost fell but then it didn't okay so a tower could still have to fall here or you might be experiencing tower or like kind of like wobbling kind of energy where it's like a tower was almost falling but it didn't quite but like righted itself um I'm kind of getting that kind of energy here Okay, so let's get into your pre-shuffle tarot cards and then we'll get into your pre-shuffle oracle cards and then we'll do some live shuffling with the more like 18 plus version of the or portion of this is maybe I should say, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, very interesting. Okay. So for your card here, we have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups in Reverse, the Eight of Cups in Reverse, the Two of Cups in the Upright, the Ten of Swords in the Upright, the Ten of Cups in the Upright, and the King of Cups in the Upright, okay? So... Um, I'm really getting here that this is somebody that you really want to that you really want to be in a relationship with. Okay, Two of Cups. You feel very drawn into this person. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I was seeing a lot of when I was shuffling out my decks and like all my decks, I was seeing a lot of twin flame journey stuff. I was seeing a lot of divine feminine, divine masculine cards. Um, I was seeing a lot of those popping up here. So there could be an energy of this. Okay. The masculine energy here with this King of Cups has an intense want and a need for, for the feminine energy here in this dynamic. They really want to come together. They want to have a good time. They want the two of you to come together in some type of union. They want to be in the more 
the more like celebratory uh, time in this union or time in this relationship. Okay. They are acknowledging that in the past, there were some things that they were refusing to let go of, or they were refusing to, you know, there are, you know, if I was a little bit of an a-hole um, or one person here, it's kind of like, I was a little bit of an a-hole in this situation. I was being really selfish about something with this nine of cups in reverse, maybe even denying they wanted this relationship or that they wanted to be in this union with you. Okay. But they found over time that they were unable to emotionally walk away from this. They were unable to emotionally sever their ties. They were unable to kind of like get over you, right? They tried to put it into this. They tried to, but they felt completely like tied down or like, no, like unavoidable, like everywhere they tried to get away, it led, it, it led straight back to you over again, okay? king of cups this person 100% is like in their feelings 100% and they see you as their 10 their 10 of cups okay and they don't want to let you go 100% this person doesn't want to let you go they see you as their 10 of cups they see you as their two of cups um they are wanting to come back into your life they are acknowledging or they will be willing to acknowledge that there are there was some betrayals that you know the two of you might have to discuss or might have to talk about coming back together um and they are willing to acknowledge the fact that that them or both of you um, were being a little selfish or maybe even projecting some energy onto each other and not and not giving each other the fairest shot. But they are ready here and willing to let go of what happened in the past to walk and they but they are feeling like emotionally I cannot walk away from you I am unable to walk away from you I tried to move on I tried to distract myself I tried to be in other relationships or whatever it was this person did you know tried to work. And distract themselves or move on. But they're like, I am, I found it un, I am, I found, excuse me, that I, I am unable to emotionally walk away from you. I can't cut my ties from you. I can't deny this feeling that I have for you. I am so intensely and passionately in love with you. You are my two of cups. You are my 10 of cups. You are my happiness. You are my other half. This person is like, I want to be with you. Um, so you could know this person already or once you come into a relationship with this person, the two of you, excuse me, my face is a little itchy. Um, the two of you could, there could be an issue here where the two of you might trigger some selfishness or this person might do something really selfish or you might do something selfish that causes this relationship to go kind of uh, part ways. But I really feel like both of you are going to feel like you're unable to walk away from each other. You feel this emotional call back together, even despite the fact that there was some kind of betrayal that happened here. Okay. Um, and I'm hearing, I'm sorry when I picked up that 10 of swords. So this person is sorry about whatever betrayal that happened now for some of you, especially if you know this person, if you identify this person as your twin flame, you might be like un unable to forgive them or something like, you're just like, look, okay, I can forgive you, but I'm, I'm not really into this, but especially the masculine energy here is like I am in love with this person I definitely feel too with the king of cups I do feel like you do have passion for this person you are in love with this person you do care about this person and I feel like this man this person the masculine energy here is extremely in their feels and you can feel that right you can feel that this person is in their emotions they're not running away from it anymore they cannot emotionally walk away from this yes and they want here to bring in this three of cups energy where the two of you are together they might even want to get married to you um but they they want to bring in a much more like where at least you two are like friendly you're speaking you're back on speaking terms with each other you're back in each other's lives you're spending ideally this person would really like to spend time with you i would really like to um travel with you or be around you just spend just have an open a doorway or open communication between the two of you they just want there to be good times between the two of you, maybe like like it was in the past or but, you know, that kind of energy. OK, I, I am getting that where this person's like, can't we be like it used to be when it was fun and before all the BS? And I, but I do think this person is willing to acknowledge or you're like, well, you know, um, the fun got ruined because you were being a, a, a shellfish a-hole or because, you know, I was rejecting onto each other. I feel like it's a little bit of both. Right. Um, I feel like it's a little bit of both, but I feel like the two of you are feeling like you're unable, you're really unable to like walk away from each other because you do have those really deep feelings for each other. This is a really intense soulmate, uh, two of cups connection here that you have between, between you and this person. And, you know, you feel the way that you feel about them. That's unavoidable here. Okay. Let's keep going. 
Okay. Okay. Paul too also had this, this card. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Okay. So you or this person could have Sagittarius in your chart or be a Sagittarius, but I feel like this person is coming back around because you're like, okay, there's a bigger journey here. There's a bigger reason here. There's a big picture thinking here. I got to step back and look. It's, it's more than just about what this person did to me in the past. It's also about the fact that you know, I feel this tie to this person. I feel this connection to this person. This person, you know, really does love me. And maybe I can forgive them. Maybe we can move on. Maybe we can start over. Maybe we can do something here because, you know, I do have feelings for this person. I do have an intense passion for this person and a, deep, a very deep love for this person. And I know they have the same feelings for me. So maybe it's time that I learn how to forgive and move on and kind of let go. Yeah, it's a really big time, a, a time for healing with this balsamic moon here. So definitely. Um, it's a really big healing season here between you and this person of healing past wounds, of healing past things, um, you know, that happened between the two of you or, you know, it's about acknowledging like, okay, I was projecting onto you, you were projecting onto me, we had issues, we both needed to spend this time apart, we both needed to heal, we both had things that we were struggling with that we were putting on to each other and yada, yada, all those things, having those deep, you know, you triggered me, I triggered you, runner, chaser, all of that business, right? balance with full moon and pisces balance spirituality and practicality so i definitely feel like it's like okay look on a spiritual level we're already together on a spiritual level i know that we that we fit together like we're you know we're twin flames we're the two halves of the same soul yada yada all of that but sorry i'm not trying to yada yada over you um it is an intense connection here or intense passion that you have for this person right it's really sweet that's so funny because this music just started playing in the background. It's like the sweetest track that is on this little playlist. It's a very innocent and sweet sound. Yeah. But I definitely feel like there needs to be some real talks where the two of you are like really actually figuring out right figuring out the practical side of okay okay there is this intense spiritual connection we can't run away from that we can't deny that we really love each other it's there on a spiritual level what's the practical what does it practically look like for us what what steps in the 3d do we need to make for the two of us to actually be able to be in a realistic functioning relationship like do we need to go to counseling do we need to forgive each other what discussions do we need to have what plans do we need to make you know you have cycles you need to wait you know break or move out of do does one of us need to move does one of us need to sell you know our house or a condo or what is what is the practical steps to us actually getting to come together and actually have and actually really making this work and really doing this right like for real though it's not it's not just in the it's not just in the spiritual realm it's not just in the 5d we're really face to face really being like okay we're really yeah, I'm seeing like a couple come together and like hold hands, like kind of like this, like, okay, we're really going to do this. Like, what does that really look like? Right? Not just in our imaginations, but what does it really look like us being together? What does us being in a relationship really look like? What does it feel like? What do we do? You know? Okay, you're not running. I'm not chasing. We're not doing any of that business. That's where we've been for a long time. We're both here ready and willing to really do this. So where do we go? What do we do? How do we do this? Let's figure it out. Let's start really allowing this to come together for real, right? That's really sweet. That's really, really sweet, actually. It's a lot of really sweet energy, actually. Like, oh. Okay. The crumbling, what are you clinging on to? This is the tower card in this deck, so for sure, right? There was a tower that still needed to fall here, and I really think it's like both of you acknowledging the projecting you were doing onto each other and both of you acknowledging what needed to fall, what needed to crumble, you know, to stop projecting and blaming and finger pointing and be like, look, we both just really want to be together. We know that we do. I love you. You love me. What do we really need to do? What really needs to fall? What needs to crumble away for us to really do this? Wow, this is a really intense conversation. Now, I want to point out here too, how, how how the shape of this, right, really mirrors the shape of this. And look how it has that intense white spot at the top. And look, right? 
and how this is like the green and then there's like the like the green flourishing abundance that's here with that white peak at the top look how much the synchronicity is with that wow yeah inner temple devotion okay devotion tune into the portal of your heart yeah what does your heart say really tuning in to what you really want and your heart is really like i want this person i know that i do i know deep down that i'm head over heels in love with this person yes it triggered me and hurt me when this person ran away and then i ran away and then they chased after me and then going back and forth that you know that really hurts that really triggers that causes a lot of growth and a lot of development and a lot and it causes a lot of please forgive me yes i'm sorry please forgive me yes i'm sorry all of that needs to happen right it's not like you can just come together and just ignore all that that happened it needs to be acknowledged but there is this sense here of tuning into you know the two of you are very devoted to each other you are really in love with each other. You really, really do care for each other. You know, on a spiritual level, the two of you are supposed to be together again with the twin marrying energy right there, right? Right? You know that you are supposed to be together. So, you know, let's tune in to what really needs to happen here. I know what my heart chakra wants. I know what my heart wants. I know what it is, right? Okay. Yeah, some of you might feel triggered by this with this no card. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. Some of you might even say no. I'm not sure. You know, that energy is there. Some of you might be like this lightning bolt, like, no, I said I don't want this person, you know? It's possible. You know, whether you want them or not, you are manifesting them back into your life when, in the things that you're doing. And I do think at the very least now, it is a chance for you to you know, to hear, I'm sorry, to hear, please forgive me, to hear the things that I feel like you have wanted to hear. That does not mean that you have to get back with this person or that you have to be in a relationship with this person, like for real, you know? Um, but I feel like it is an opportunity to bring some kind of conclusion to this, whether or not you're conclu concluding this past cycle of finger pointing, blaming, and you're starting a new cycle of love or you're starting a new cycle of love apart from each other, whatever it is. Because I definitely feel like for some of you, there could be this lingering anger or these lingering storm clouds of just like, no, like absolutely not. I'm so mad that they ran away from me. I feel like this person is coming back into your life. You are manifesting this person back into your life to give you an opportunity to face this, right? To face this anger inside of you, to face this, no, I won't, I won't be with this person. I'm not trying to call you out. I'm not trying to call you, like you're saying, you're throwing a temper tantrum or anything like that. But um, yeah, that's kind of the energy where I'm getting like, where it's time for you to face your anger that you have towards this person. And it's time for you to let a lot of it go. Now, whether or not you choose to be with this person, that is 100% your choice. And I am not trying to bully you or shame you or give you one way or the other or anything like that. You be exactly where you want to be. Just know, right? You are pulling this person back into your life to have the opportunity for this to happen because, like I said, the two of you are linked together. You're twin flames or you're some kind of soulmates, right? Like it's supposed to happen. Um, so this opportunity is coming back around, right? And it's completely within your power to say no to this person, right? But I feel like you should at least hear them out. Um, you should at least have this conversation and you can at least get the closure that you really want in this in this situation, right? All right, because it might be where the two of you are practically trying to figure out, it's like, how can this, it, like in the spirit world, yes, we're so intense. Can an actual relationship really work with us? Maybe not. Maybe we're just really supposed to forgive each other, thank each other for the triggering that we did, for the growing up that we did. And maybe we are supposed to part ways. Maybe we're just supposed to be there for each other. I have, I have seen plenty of people in the collective that choose not to be in relationships with their twin flames because it's really hard to be in a relationship with them because it is so triggering because it is such an intense connection. Maybe the two of you are just supposed to come back together and you know, have this moment for each other. That's possible. And maybe the two of you will be friends or maybe the two of you will stay in contact or maybe you can start a relationship. When you're looking at the practical side of this, can we actually be in a relationship, right? We have this intense love and this intense connection and this intense physical connection for each other. But is that what our connection is really leading us to? What are we actually really practically being guided to? Are we being guided to be in a relationship together? Or are we just being guided to not hate each other and not have 
lingering anger for each other, you know? That's possible too. So don't automatically just write off the fact that, you know, that I'm talking about what kind of love, because this love could be platonic love. You could just decide, okay, it's time that I let go of the anger that I felt towards this person through the runner, through the chaser. Maybe we're not actually supposed to be in a relationship or maybe you are, right? Maybe it's like, okay, we really do love each other. Let's be in a relationship. Maybe when you're talking it out, maybe practically you're like, we want different things. We're going in different directions. Like maybe we're not supposed to be in a relationship, but you know, it's time, the, the time for finger pointing and blaming and, you know, having that anger, that anger towards each other, the time for that is really closing out. It's a time for healing now, right? It's a time to stop holding on to all that lightning, all that anger, and it's time to let this tower fall, right? It's time to let that tower of the anger and look at the bigger picture as to what exactly was this person's purpose in coming into your life, right? Tune into what your heart really wants. What does your heart say? For some of you, your heart is going to say, you love this person, let's be with them. For some of you, you're going to tap inside and your heart's going to say, I do love this person, but that doesn't mean we have to be with them. And not like, an, I'm angry at them, I'm not going to let it go. I love this person, I want the best for them, but that doesn't make them my partner, right? Tap in, but it's time for this healing either way. It's time for this closure on this either way, right? Yeah, there's so much movement here and there's so much like stirring and just like, you know, truths being found here in this alignment with this person. Summer, Tower of the Blazing Sun. So definitely, right? The two of you could come together in summer or whenever you're finding this, you know, it could bring a new summer into your life. Yeah. Yeah. But again, with that tower, with that blazing, like, yeah, because look, look at how in every single one of these, there's like a tower, right? There's a tower back here in the background. It's got that bright light at the top of it. The bright light here at the top of this tower, right? The, the white point where it got shattered at the top of this tower, right? The blazing sun, tower of the blazing sun, right? That bright white light. It's this tower of hope of understanding of guidance right look stepping back and looking at the bigger picture as to why this person is in your life it doesn't just have to be about you guys being in a passionate love together or being in a relationship or having kids together or it doesn't have to be that way right expand your knowledge of exactly what a twin flame can be because or what this person can be or what their purpose was being in your life right now, if you want to look at it in the very romantic sense, you know, but I do know we've talked about that on the channel about how the twin flame journey, journey excuse me, does get rom heavily romanticized when the truth is when you really talk to a lot of people that are on the journey, a lot of twins don't actually come together and be in a romance together. You know, a lot of them end up, some of them end up coming into union together and some of them end up just coming into union in the, in the sense that they will always love each other and honor each other and be there for each other. But that doesn't mean that they're not supposed to actually go on and marry or be in relationships with other people. Open yourself up to the possibilities of what could really be there. Like open your mind, right? Keep an open mind about it. Yeah, because look, move on. This isn't going anywhere. For some of you, it is. It's like, look, like this isn't going any further than this. But I, I am tired of the, of the finger pointing. I mean, I am tired of the, of the feeling triggered. I am tired of the... You know, I'm, I'm tired of the, no, you're triggering me. No, you're triggering me. Yeah, I'm just seeing that a lot of this projecting and blaming and projecting and blaming. You're like, I'm done with this cycle. I'm done with the projecting, blaming cycle. Like, blessings onto you, blessings onto me. I hope that you're doing well, right? I do care about you, but that, you know, there's a lot of intensity here that maybe you just feel like checked out of. Months less, less than six, so less than six months here this could happen in less than six months okay I don't know um let that resonate as it does for you you could have been born on the sixth month or this person could have um if you guys do get together I mean I don't want to say that I don't want to necessarily say that it's going to last maybe the two of you got together and it only lasted for six months or something like that really quickly and then the two of you split you know split away from each other the possibilities are all over the place here with this. 
air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Swords. There's definitely a Queen of Swords air sign energy here, okay? You could be an air sign. This person could be an air sign. Um, also with that lover's energy there with the Gemini. I definitely saw the lover's card several times when I was shuffling the deck. And this Queen of Swords, yeah, it's about standing in your truth. This person coming back around is about you standing in your truth and really being like, okay, no, I do love this person. I do think I want to be with them. Or no, the truth is I love this person. I care about them, but that doesn't mean I want to be with them kind of energy, right? You're going to have to decide, babes. And it's going to be up to you. And there's not going to be one, one right answer for any one of you, right? Well, there is a right answer for each of you, right? But there's not going to be one answer that applies to all of you. Short hair, clean cut. So I'm not sure what that short hair is about, okay? Maybe this person just sh uh, cut their hair. Maybe you have short hair. Maybe they do. Maybe you'll see them around getting a haircut or something like that. Maybe you'll cut your, your hair like really short or something like that. And then you'll see this person. Or perhaps maybe this person had long hair and they cut their hair short. And you're like, oh my God, you look so different. You know, I don't know. Uh, something just clean cut also but just this clean cut energy is really standing out to me clean cut like a clean break for some of you it is gonna be like okay like no i'm not sure for some of you you so for some of you could come together and be like practically i don't know if we can be in a relationship right now but maybe sometime in the future you know that's also a possibility too but for some of you it's like can we be together right now? Or is it something in the future? Or is it, I love you and I'll always want the best for you, but I don't see us being together now or in the future. You know, there's, there's, it's a, it's a collective read, right? Okay, let's keep going. Shapeshifter. Okay, shapeshifter. Light attributes, skill at, at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. Shadow attributes, projecting any image that preserves your personal agenda in the moment. Yeah, so maybe, like I said, in the past, maybe the two of you were trying to change each other. Maybe you were trying to adapt into what the other person thought you should be. Maybe you were trying to adapt that person into what you thought your perfect person was going to be, right? Um it's a skill here that you guys have that that you are able to um go through these different levels of consciousness that you can be ascending in these different levels of consciousness consciousness and when you come together you trigger those awakenings and those and those uh consciousness shifts together right every time you come back together and come back into alignment with this person um it costs it, it um well, one, I, I just heard like it has a heavy cost which is like a lot of triggering a lot of like that energy Right. So it is giving me this you guys coming together lifetime after lifetime after lifetime kind of energy. Right. To really uh, shape shift each other and change each other. And also with the shape shifter. Right. Like every time you come together, this person looks different. You look different in the different lifetimes. And I feel like a lot physically and emotionally changes every single time throughout throughout a single lifetime the two of you the two of you come and you trigger and you run and you chase and you run and you chase and you come back together you know I feel like the two of you look different the two of you have greatly shifted what's happening in your life and I feel like the next time you meet this person I feel like not only will the both of you look very physically different but I feel like you will be in very different mental emotional and psychological places in your life you know so so maybe at one point when you felt like this person is my end all be all, you know, but we're on this runner chaser dynamic, maybe you come back together and you're like, is this actually practical? Can we actually make this work? Am I actually in love with who this person really is? Or was I in love with what I thought they were supposed to be? Was I in love at the thought of what a twin flame was, what my perfect match is, what my perfect mate was, you know? Am I really actually in love with this person and who they are? Can I allow them? Can I have true unconditional love for this person and love them for exactly who they are, even if they choose not to be with me or I choose not to be with them, right? Or if we do end up coming together, can can this practically work? You know, there's going to be differences. There's always these big major differences, um, sometimes in race, sometimes in, you know, religious factors, sometimes uh, relig religious, spiritual factors, social economic factors, you know, um, the two of you will be from vastly different side. You might even speak different languages and, you know, all this other stuff. There'll be all these really major differences. And it's like, is this really the person I want to be with? Some of you will say yes. Some of you will be like, I'm not actually sure. And some of you will be like, no, I know for sure it's not, you know. Um, and now that I'm in a much more healed state in my life, 
Um, you know, I feel like the, the healing that needs to happen here is the kind of aggression or anger or projection energy that you had for each other, right? Wow, this is getting real deep. <laughs> Which I'm not surprised with the whole, you know, like twin flame journey, soulmate journey thing coming out here between you and this person. Delatante, okay? You got a lot going on. I feel like you and this person both got a lot going on in your lives. Um, life attributes. De delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits, okay? Shadow attribute. Um... Pretension to to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. So be, you know, I feel like for some of you, you might have jumped to conclusions about who this person was and what they were doing. Maybe you were even watching tarot readings about this person and you were assigning, oh, this person must be doing this. And, they, and they're, they're involved with the karmic and it's hurting you so much. And it's a lot of triggering energy between you and this person. A lot of projection and triggering energy. And I definitely feel like the both of you are both learning how to diversify your lives, how to really fall in love with yourselves, allow yourselves to be yourselves. You're really pursuing a lot of your talents, a lot of your gifts, a lot of, of uh, you just have a lot going on. Both of you have a lot going on and there's a lot of changing, a lot of shifting, a lot of timeline shifting, a lot of personality, you know, shifting, letting go, all these tower moments, letting go of all these things, you know, uh, childhood trauma and healing and all of this that's happening. It's a lot that goes into these types of journeys like this, right? There's so many little moving parts that all have to come together in a lineup. And I definitely feel like, you know, um, it's major energy here, right? I don't know. It's not giving me big like you guys are coming into union to be together right now, but it is giving me some type of union energy with you guys coming together. Um, no, nah, but I think that's happening soon, perhaps for some of you in, in less than six, six months or less, right? Um, like I said, for some of you, it's happening sometime by the summer. Um, but this is a timeless reading. So, so by the time you view this summer might be six months away or something like that, or less than six months away into the, if you're viewing this in the future after I've, you know, uh, posted it. So yeah, with that dilettante energy, I definitely feel like there's a lot of shifting and changing and a lot of, a lot going on in both of your lives right now. God, okay? Light attributes, benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. As shadow attributes, um, dis, uh, disposition and cruelty, using power to control people. Okay, yeah, so I definitely feel like both of you have this kind of like God, goddess energy, especially with this divine masculine energy here. Um... And I think it's like recognizing and understanding that both of you are opposite ends of the spectrum and recognizing, okay, it is not on, it's not, it's not this person's life goal to be what you expect a partner and it's not expect in a partner and it's not, and it's the other way around, vice versa, right? I feel like for both of you, you might've had a very like, this is what my partner needs to be. And I feel like you two projected that, no, like you need to fit into this box. You were supposed to look like this and you're supposed to act like this and you're supposed to do this, fit in, fit in, fit into this little box, do what I want you to do. And I feel like that was a big something that needed to be triggered between the two of you, right? Um, so that this awakening or this this consciousness shifting could happen between the two of you, right? That's all part of the triggers that come together. And I definitely feel like this being very much so being guided and led here by, by spirit, right? And by the higher powers here, storyteller, ability, uh, light attribute, abil ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols, um, shadow attribute, making up tales that harm others. So definitely, I feel like, again, I feel like both of you were making up some tales, listening to other people, listening to karmic people, projecting onto each other. Um, I also feel like it could be a big part of your journey to spread this, to spread your knowledge about this journey to other people, right? To, to, to spread your, once you've dealt with this anger, you know, um, it could be part of your journey to really help other twin flames come together or to help show that the twin flame journey is not exactly what you expected it to be and to just share your truth about that, right? To be like, look, like, it's not what I expected it to be. It's not exactly how it looks in the books or how it is when you read about it. Um, and it's like, yeah, you can get those warnings, but, it, but it's, it's, it's so much different you know, than you might expect. And sometimes you can be guided to look at it from a very, very narrow viewpoint. And then your eyes can be kind of awakened, wake up, right? With that alarm going off, wake up. 
you know, your kind of vision of what you of what you think and what you expect and who you are and how you fit into that bigger and how this person and how y'all's life together fits into the bigger purpose and all that, you know, all that hugeness, the bigger picture of all of this that's happening and how you fit into, you know, God or spirit's purpose, however you want to put it, right? Um, it can be very different. Some of you could also be meant to um, share it in music, okay? And, and music or like write a book or just tell your story. So just like telling other people your story, you could write a book about it. You could write songs or music about it, you know? Um, so I definitely feel like there's this big energy of here on the other side of this, you are going to be able to tell your story and your truth about what really happened here. Um, <laughs> and for some reason I'm viewing like this right here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. If it's supposed to be like a hat or something on this person's head, but, um, this right here, I'm viewing it as kind of like, like a comical, like, um, halo, like a halo here. It's like a halo that's too big. It's kind of sip, slipping down on top of your head, but it's still there. So it's kind of giving me this kind of like, haha, let me tell you about what it's really like to be on the journey. Like, it's not what you expect. It's not your person doesn't always have to be what you expect. And that's the point of it, you know, kind of getting into those deeper things and just being like, look, I went on a journey too. And this is how, you know, it's not always how it is in the storybooks. It's not always the picture perfect love that everybody wants to tell you about, um, you know, um, this could also be about the two of you coming together and kind of like telling your stories to each other. It's like, well, what was really actually happening in your life? Well, this is what was really happening. Like, really? Oh, snap. Well, this is what was really happening in my life. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, snap. Like, ooh. So it's like getting a deeper picture of how the two of you maybe were misguiding yourself, how you were being misguided by others, how you were... Yeah, I just keep on getting that, like projecting a lot of your own fears and insecurities onto each other when that's not really what was happening. Because I felt like the two of you had a really big separation where there was no communication, no social media stuff, anything like that. I mean, maybe, um, but it's like that stuff can lie. We all know that. That stuff, we all post like the better parts of ourselves and the best parts of everything that's happening in our life on social media. So, Yeah. All right. So it, it is definitely giving me this heart to heart, like let's let's have an open communication kind of energy here. OK. All right, let's keep going because we still have more. Uh, yeah. Stay optimistic about your love life. All right. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah. So I definitely feel like you're learning how to have this much more optimistic and not have so much of like a dark view. I feel like both of you could be coming out of a dark night of the soul and you're kind of coming to this stage where your eyes are a lot more opening. You're shifting your consciousness. You're like, okay, forgiving and learning and moving on and, you know, keeping a much more open mind about things. Yeah. You're paying a close attention, right. To the red flags of, of this, of maybe your own red flags, you know, taking a responsibility for how maybe you were selfish and they, it's not so much, well, you did this and you did this. And this other person's like, well, you know, you did this and you did that. And it's like, yeah, I guess I did do that. Didn't I like, okay. Like, I guess you're kind of right about that. Like, yeah, I could have handled this better. Um, you know, um, and this person like, yeah, I could have handled this better kind of energy right? So you're paying attention to the red flags and still, if there are still things that the two of you need to grow up about, or you need to let go of, or you need, if there, or if one or both of you still need to do some maturing before some kind of actual union can come, like what's the practical side of this? Like, you know, a lot of times too, there can be big age gap differences in twin flames as well too. So maybe one of you is like, look, like one of you might be ready to settle down, ready to have kids while the other one is like much younger, maybe still like in college or something like that. And they're like, what does our life actually practically look, look like together? Like, can this work out? Can this actually really work very soon? So something's happening. There's some clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So clearly decide what you want. Know what you want. So when this person comes back around, there is no doubt in your mind to exactly what you want, right? Exactly what you want out of this. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah. I don't think there, you know, I don't think there's an even if you don't want I, even if you don't want something currently with this person, I feel like it's really because I'm really feeling like this person might really, like I said, um, it's giving me the masculine energy here, which it usually is. No, no, not knock on you masculines, but it is what it is. <laughs> you know, uh, it is what it is. 
Um, it's usually the masculine that tends to run away. They turn into the runner really quickly, and then the feminine turns into the chaser, then they heal, then the masculine turns into the runner and starts, you know, or the chaser, and then the feminine turns into the runner, you know, once they find some some other, like, more healedness inside of them, right? No more healedness. Anyway, um, and it's like, we were both being selfish in some ways. We were both, you know, doing, we both had these red flags. We both had these, these ways that we needed to, but I felt like there was definitely like a lack here of expressing like, no, I do really actually have these feelings for, you No, I really do care about, you No, I, I really do see you. I, I, I want you to be happy. And I, and I can see this vision of us being together, but there is this sense here that we need to acknowledge some, some ways that we went wrong, you know, that there needs to be, uh, a talk about the betrayal that each of you feel because I feel like that each of you this might shock you but I feel like this person feels betrayed by you in certain ways too and you're just like you might be like what but I feel like it's like hear this person out you know and let them speak their piece about what they need to talk about and I feel like both of you need to be like yes like there clearly are these really intense feelings together you know practically what would it look like us being together and really go from there right as to what what you really want this to be or really what what you really want this to go right and i'm not being incredibly guided but i am if some of you are really interested in having something with this person okay we are going to move on here to the 18 plus version of it we'll see what comes out okay yeah okay one this person absolutely is 100 percent very attracted to you or you're very attracted to each other queen of wands um i definitely feel like this masculine has been watching this feminine from a distance as well judgment card yeah some of you might really feel like the two of you are bound together or like it's destined for the two of you to have a child together or something like that what's popping out here queen of cups yeah both both of you have these feelings for each other king of cups queen of cups you do it's there and there is this judgment energy here but i definitely yes with the seven of swords again right there is this rejection on both sides energy right where you both feel rejected by the other seven of wands i feel like you're both also very defensive towards each other the sun but again both of you feel like you and again eight of cups here right maybe perhaps it was at one point the masculine run away now the masculine is running back towards the feminine the feminine is like oh slow your roll i don't even know if i want you like that anymore right but on a spirit level right the two of you very much so still want each other and there is this intense connection between the two of you but i definitely feel like there is the seven of wands energy where it's like you know, like we're both, you're both defensive, you're both kind of, but you're both very much so, um, you know, you're very happy, you're very happy with each other. Eight of wands. There needs to be communication here. There needs to be open, honest communication on both sides, on both sides here. And there is an opportunity for that to come about. Empress and the star. There's big opportunity for a lot of healing energy here, especially on the feminine side, especially with the Empress. Okay. Yeah. I feel like on both King of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Yeah. They want to talk. The masculine here with that king of pentacles definitely feels like they want to invest in this now. Um, there's something here, I'm not going to lie to you, there's something really here about the feminine's breasts, like the, like the man is very attracted to the feminine's breasts. It could be that kind of like nurturing kind of vibe energy that they have because there's so much energy here. Where I'm just so guided, especially like I'm so guided to look at the feminine's breast and all of these, even though her breast is kind of covered up, like there's something about that there. And here the man almost looks like he's literally about to suckle on the woman's on the woman's breast here. And then of course with the empress, the breasts are out, and then again to here, head in the breast. Um 
they are very drawn into your empress energy into the embrace of you they could want i'm just you know a little heads up they could have been dealing yes look they could have really been dealing with a really a really heavy karmic cycle here okay and this and this masculine here is coming back to get this kind of nourishing energy here because look look at this man back here the statue He's got a snake all wrapped around him, and I don't think you can see it too well. My camera's not picking up, but the face is kind of like, oh, and he's like reaching out towards the feminine energy here um, for some kind of help, for some kind of guidance. Yeah, hermit card. And I also do think, oh my gosh, as I say that, I do, I do think too here that there is an energy that the masculine is worried that the feminine has someone else. Look at that. Two men here looking at two other people in the background. So that energy is here. <laughs> that energy is here too. And again, high priestess. I definitely feel like this masculine feels like this and this empress has a lot of knowledge and a lot of healing energy. Mm -hmm. And they definitely two of swords want to come in. Right. And again, this feminine is kind of like, mm, I don't know. Right. And again, here with this two of pinnacles, like balancing back and forth. And look how the, the masculine's like, kind of creeping up on the feminine the feminine's like mm -hmm. the masculine's like i'm coming to get you <laughs> kind of energy right um yeah yeah and i definitely think that this masculine here was dealing with some kind of karmic energy or dealing with some kind of choice in lovers um but i think the feminine on um, the feminine i feel like in the past it was the masculine that was dealing with the choice in lovers and now i feel like it's the feminine that has a choice in lovers this masculine versus somebody else Again, right? Like in the past, the, the ball was in the masculine court. They had the, the power here. And now I feel like the feminine has empowered themselves, taken back their power. Um, the masculine has dealt with a really heavy karmic cycle here, right? Again, there it is, right? Seven of swords, right? Yeah, seven of swords, look. And this feminine is like, I'm going on to do my business. And this masculine is like, damn, what have I done? Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I feel like this masculine here with this um, Knight of Pentacles, they're slow moving, coming in, offering this offer. They could have offered it to somebody else, but then, you know, they got caught up in a karmic cycle. But I feel like this masculine was slow to come in and bring this offer. But here they are coming in and higher font. I feel like they are still be mindful, though. There's still those two those two people in there and in, in that picture. But chariot card as well. They are coming in. This masculine is coming in. You know, there's the high, but you did notice though, the higher font came out here, the Knight of Pentacles came out here, the Emperor still did not come out. So I think there is some still some development or some acknowledgement that this, um, that this masculine needs to do. And I do think they are being inspired to come forward because they feel other people in your energy, feminine energy. Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they are. They want to work on this love now. They are willing to work on this love now. Right again with the again with the feminine being like huh, I'm kind of done and this masculine's like come on take the rose please you know so yeah I'll I'll let you let that be what it is I don't I'm not feeling a lot of like energy here I feel like on an energetic level the two of you are like you know you want to be together especially like physically you want to be together but I think there's a lot still here to work out in the 3D right and there's a lot to still you know pay attention to the red flags pay attention to the warning signs right trust your intuition because there is this sense of coming in now that they're the, the, the masculine senses competition like whoa is somebody sniffing around my girl like or sniffing around my empress like hold up i might want to come in now yeah same i might want to come in now so just be aware of that i'm not saying that they're coming in with the worst intentions at all you know, but I do feel like they're, they're not coming in a hundred percent. Like I said, I feel like it's this empress that's much more close, the feminine energy that's much more close to the empress energy or the masculine could even be in their empress energy as well. Right. We both have both. But you're both still defensive. 
I don't feel like this is going to lead to the two of you like making it passionate love or anything like that. I think that it is going to be a discussion. I feel like it is going to be like a, what's happening here. But I definitely feel like there's a big shift in the power dynamic where the feminine here has a lot more power over exactly what happens. And now the masculine is being put in a position where he's coming in asking the, the feminine to forgive them, to move on, to, um, you know, like I said, with that higher font coming out, why did the higher font come out in this one? No, but I definitely feel the commitment coming from the masculines. While I feel like the feminines kind of like maybe, maybe not. Yeah, again, that emperor did not show themselves at all. Okay, well, we'll see what comes out in these eighteen plus messages. I'm not like being super drawn to doing these, but I feel like. I don't know. I feel like the two of you are a little bit beyond the kind of hookup kind of energy. Um, send me a pic when we're apart. I feel like this person looks at your pictures. I feel like this person wants to see what you're doing, see what you're up to. Uh, let me take you out on a dinner date again. Right? Uh, I get ready at the thought of you, okay? Like this person is ready to go at the thought of you. They are very still attracted to you with that Queen of Wands energy, right? They are still definitely very attracted to you and they're in their feelings about you. Look, I love that you're a tease making me chase you, right? So this person is chasing you. And it's like, it's kind of like, there is some maturing that still needs to happen here. I do feel like, because like I said, it is like now that the feminine is like, hmm, anyway, now this machine is like, wait, wait, you're taking back your power. Like, oh, let me come in. Let me chase you. Like you not wanting this person is making them chase after you. There could still be some toxic ways that need to be resolved there. Hand under the, ta hand under the table, control your face. And I definitely got that like under the table sort of type energy where there still could be some, I'm not saying that there's another person sneaky energy, but there is kind of like a, uh, this person might try to make the moves on you and I feel like you're going to be like, uh, no. Uh, bite it. Uh, uh, I like a little bit of pain. So I feel like this person likes a little bit of, like, likes a little bit of the pain of rejection. I feel, uh, you feel risky and a part of me likes it. Exactly. This person feels, it feels risky now. Like you might turn them down. I miss the way you smell. You smell so good on my sheets slash pillows. This person does miss you. They miss the way you smell. They miss, they, they just miss you in general. They miss your energy. They miss your attention. They miss all that. Yeah, exactly. I crave your body and your energy. So they definitely do crave you. Perfect fit, you feel so good inside of me. So I definitely feel like this person feels like the two of you are a perfect fit together. Um, I love the way you moan my name. So if you guys have been intimate, this person is not like incredibly like 18 plus. They didn't pull like incredibly 18 plus. Stare into my eyes while you ride me. So this person does, they do miss. I kind of think, I feel like they're kind of like turned on by the pow how you've like taken back your power. You've kind of taken back your power and this person kind of likes that. It makes them more attracted to you now. Like I said, they feel like there's a risk that you could actually turn them down and that kind of and they kind of like that more than just feeling like you would automatically just want to be with them. Okay. So, I feel like you probably know what this person looks like, but we're going to pull something. I'm going to pull something here to see. Okay, what does this person look like? I don't know. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, I'm getting a message from this person that, I don't like this, but I, um, in the past, this person's like, in the past, you were too available. When you were just open and loving to them, that there was a little too much, which is why I feel like there's still some maturing, there's still some leveling up that needs to happen here, right? Because, like I said, the Empress got pulled, but the Emperor did not, so. Black hair, this person could have black hair, lanky long legs, somebody has lanky long legs, somebody's tall, 
okay? Somebody here is short. Somebody has colored hair, so um, they could have color, colorful different hair, you know, like, like blue or green or pink or something like that. Or they could just have it, you know, colored to not their natural colored hair, okay, and mid-length hair. So somebody here has black hair, somebody has colored hair. They could have like, you know, colored stripes or like, what are they called? Anyway, where you, where you have like underneath that you have like the pieces right here colored a different color or something like that. Um, they could have black hair or they could have their hair colored where their hair is naturally a different color and they have it colored black. But yeah, black colored hair. Somebody's long with lanky legs. Somebody could be also short. Yeah, with mid-length hair. No eye color or anything like that or skin color, which is weird because no skin color came out in like any of the groups so interesting okay um let's pull some confirmations for some um astrology signs this person could be or that you could be that could be involved in this you know virgo sagittarius aries straight saying two more let's pull two more there they are scorpio and a gemini okay so this person doesn't have to be any of these signs. They it doesn't also have to be their sun sign. This could be anywhere prominently in their chart, okay? So Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, and Virgo. All right, Pile 3, that's what I have for you. If it wasn't your thing, I'm so sorry about that. Um, like I've told all the rest of the groups. If this is not what you're really looking for, you are welcome to put in the work to manifest something different into your life. Um, but I definitely feel, oh, wait, I'm so sorry. Wait, <laughs> I was supposed to get your advice. There's still more. There's still more. Oh, my God. This one's almost This one's almost an hour or two. Jeez. But I knew it was going to be long with the amount of cards that I have here. Be gentle with yourself. So, yeah, Spirit is saying be gentle with yourself about this, about this whole situation. Okay? Be loving and gentle and caring for yourself. Know what you want in this situation. Advice. For pile three, please. Are we shifting timelines? Right? Definitely questioning, like, is this person growing up? What's the timeline here? I choose love. At the end of the day, choose love. Choose love for yourself. Choose love. More so than, like, anger or pain. Again, we fit so well together. It's coming out again. This is a soul tie. I have to move on. So there is a soul tie here between you and this person that needs to be broken. And I definitely feel, or it could be one or both of you could have a soul tie with somebody else that needs to be broken. Please send me love and protection. So there is love and protective energy around you. What are we building here exactly? So I think spirit wants you to ask yourself, what are you building here with this person? Are timelines really shifting? Is this person really growing? Or what's really going on here, okay? Um, the two of you could have had, like if you did have some kind of intercourse together or physical attraction or physical intimacy in the past, you could have created a soul tie with this person. Or like I said, you could be trying to break a soul tie from like past karmic people or this person could be, okay? Definitely with that, like with this masculine, statue back here in the background that's got that snake wrapped around them so there's definitely something going on there with that as well okay you know or you could say hey you know like we had some you know some codependency that we needed to break away from each other like yeah I like the way you take control. This person is saying they like the way you take control. And Spirit is also saying take control of your life. Take control of your circumstances. You're my inspiration. So I definitely feel like this person is looking at you as your inspiration. I was going to say vice versa, but Spirit like, not so much, but a little bit. Yeah. Okay. At least the inspiration to, you know, to move on, to know that there's great love out there. I feel like, you know, yes, um, but more the other way with the masculine towards the feminine. Pay attention to the red flags like slash warning signs. That's twice that came out. So definitely pay attention to those red flags. Any kind of warning signs that you still see that perhaps maybe this person isn't mature or maybe you're not ready for this because the two of you need to, you know, need to know that you're both equally ready and equally yoked to come together in this circumstance, right? Um, be aware of that. I'm healing myself. I thought... No, that's all. Oh, here it did. Woo! I am lost in fantasies or slash delusions. So yeah, so one or both of you could have been lost in the fantasies or, or delusions about, like I said earlier, right? Like this is what my perfect love looks like and feels like, and this is what it has to be, and it has to fit inside this little box, and it has to look like this, and it has to feel like this, and it has to happen just like this. You know, those could have been, you know, or one of you could be lost, you know 
and and one of you can still be lost in those you know and fantasizing about you know who this person is and what they're supposed to be to you and all that stuff it's like are you allowing is this person allowing you right i feel like you should both ask each other i think something that the two of you also are are, are dealing with here is Am I in love with this person or am I in love with the thought of who this person is, right? It's like, are you in love with the person or are you in love with the thought of being on a twin flame journey? Are you actually in love with this person or are you in love with the picture of them that you produced in your head based on the fact that you heard twin flame was your ultimate soulmate, right? Are you actually in love with the person for actually who they are? Not who they might become, not the potential of who they are, not who in five or 10 years they could become. Are you in love with this person, with who they are and who they're actually trying to be? Are you in love with that person, right? Okay. Are you in love with that person or are you in love with the idea of this person? I feel like in the past it could have been you that was in love with the idealized version of who this person is. And I feel like that could be happening the other way around as well. There's a lot of putting each other up on pedestals kind of energy happening here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you guys. I know this was a really long reading, but I knew with the stacks of cards that I had that there would be a lot going on here in this reading. I really appreciate you for taking the time and being here. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys are liking the content. Um, like it if you did like the content, right? Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell notification so you can know when I upload a new video, okay? Please check out all the links down below, okay? Um, comment down below if this did resonate for you, if you want to uh, start a discussion in the comments about this or anything, okay? Down below, <laughs> um, you will find the links to my second channel, my Zodiac channel. You guys can go check that out and subscribe if you feel guided to, okay? There's links, if you like, there's links to a donate or tips to the channel if you liked it, okay? Links to my online shop where you guys can purchase the cards that I have for sale, including this break in light. There is a direct link for that down below in the description box down below, okay? Um, as well as my email address if you feel like reaching out to me, okay, to schedule private reading or, or private spirit guidance, okay? Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for giving me this time. I hope this gave you the love, light, and clarity that you were looking for in this situation, okay? As always, if this didn't resonate for you, I'm so sorry. You are free to pick another group in this or you can go ahead and check out the 18 plus playlist that's around here on my channel if this is not quite what you were expecting if you want something a little more racy or something else um you can go check out those videos okay or check out other channel messages on my uh, channel thank you guys so very much for being here with me today okay and i will catch you in the next one bye lovelies